take the time to visit podsurvey.com slash peasants to complete a short 21 question survey. Participants in the survey will be entered into a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. The survey can be taken multiple times, so feel free to visit back each month for your chance to enter the drawing. Please help to support the show by using our Amazon links located in the description anytime you purchase anything from Amazon. It's a great way to support the show while just going about your normal business shopping on Amazon.com. Also, check out our storefront for Drunken Peasants recommended merchandise. Patreon pledges of $5 or more will now receive two private shows each month. In addition to the private shows, Patreon pledges of $10 or more will receive the Drunken Peasants post show after each episode of the Drunken Peasants. Ben and Billy's monthly shitty movie review and regular behind the scenes vlogs with Ben and Billy. Sign up anytime to catch the future shows as well as past content. If you want to catch the post shows but you're not a patron, click the join link below this video to become a member of the Drunken Peasants channel. In addition to each post show, you'll also get special badges and emojis that you can use in the Drunken Peasants live chat. Streamlabs will be open for the duration of each episode. Click the link below to send us a message. Donations $20 and above will be read out through text-to-speech and will require our immediate attention. All donations below $20 will be read at the end of each segment. Keep an eye out for our weekly Streamlabs goal, which if we meet, we will do an extra show the following week. If you find any content you'd like to see us cover on the show, send it to drunkenpeasantsinbox at gmail.com. All submissions will be reviewed for possible usage in a future episode. Click the Discord link in our description to join the Drunken Peasants Discord. Interact with other Drunken Peasants fans in text and voice chat, as well as the peasants themselves. Visit the Google Play Store and download the Drunken Peasants app to catch the audio version of the show while you're on the road. In addition to the app, the audio-only version of the show is also available through iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, SoundCloud, and other audio platforms. That's all we have for now. Enjoy the show. Episode 508. Oh. I am Ben Pine. I'm here with Suck Billy it. the Fridge. No, and today we are joined by Austerios Kokonos and uh, the Godless Engineer. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Thanks for joining us. It's great to have you here. So uh, what's what's new in, in Austerios world first? Tell us. Tell us all about what's going on with you. Oh, my God. I didn't prepare material. <laughs> okay, what did I do today? Hmm. I'm looking for a treadmill desk. If you know anybody with a used treadmill desk, you get in touch with me. I had an idea. I want to get the treadmill desk, put the computer on it, then go on Twitch, and people will be able to pay bits to make the treadmill go faster. Oh! So it's like... You could kill a man or <laughs> make it easier for him to win the video game. Yeah. So that's what I'm up to. You could kill a man or make him rich. You know, we, yes! <laughs> we had a friend of the <laughs> show. <laughs> we had a friend of the show who kind of did that already. Her name was Ryby, but she did it with a Sibian. And she did of, not really do this. You're oh, making, she didn't? No, no. Oh, I, I heard. You she know what? Did. We've got Wait, something. Lose with this. What is that a new gadget? 
Oh, the Sibian is a writing. Uh, uh, it's a it's a like, sex toy. It's yeah. like a it's like a uh, what? Yeah. No, it's, I'm not gonna ride a sex toy. A Sibian. It's oh, like a. You guys are disgusting. We are. <laughs> it's like a saddle with like a little thing that moves really fast on it. So. Oh, you mean like a like. It's built for women. Gymna gymnasium equipment. Yeah. Like a pommel horse. Yes, exactly. Or one of those things that shakes you around. It's yeah. like a pommel horse <laughs> that, that punches your ball bag. What the it's fuck speed, were those things punches. with the big strap that would just like shake your fat around? I guess it was. Was that I, supposed to make I, you lose I, fat? I, yeah. No, I think it was just a way to be like, look, if you ever. If you ever want to leave this machine again, you got to stop eating. Because <laughs> no, otherwise, it's not just going to make you stand in this machine. And we're going to shake you around like a paint can. It was the 1950s. I'm looking this up. They were trying everything in the 1950s. So, Godless Engineer, what's up with you, man? Uh, you know, nothing really much. Just chugging away here on YouTube. Uh, plus, I get my full-time job that I do for real money. So, <laughs> Is it engineering? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I've been doing. Is it engineering? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I've got two. I've got two engineering degrees actually. And what are they in? Are they in like mechanical and electrical or something like that? Chemical? No, no, no. Um, I've got my bachelor's in computer engineering, and then I got a master's in software engineering. Oh, oh, okay. So, okay. I'm a smart fuck. Yeah, super smart. <laughs> You're gonna fit in perfectly, not here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, they're called jiggler machines. The jiggler wow. machine? That's their actual Dude, name. I got an idea. Wow. Let's get a jiggler machine. We'll have you do it. I'll, I'll record 15 minutes of you doing it, and we'll put it in slow motion and yes. and, and put that on pay-per-view. Well, we could no, just... I want... The, <laughs> I, I, the more bits you give me, the more it jiggles. It's a very <laughs> simple formula yeah. here. Let's not complicate this. Just give me some bits. I'll jiggle this a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I want to I wanna use it. Uh, dude, I'm buying a jiggler. I want it. <laughs> I wonder if they I can. I, I got I to gotta admit, that would make me want to donate some, some yeah. bits or whatever. Dude, you to, know what? To make you jiggle faster and faster and faster. Why are, yeah. why are cam girls not using this? They could strap it to their butt. Wow. You know, and Whoa. like do do that kind of thing. Like a cam girl with a big butt could strap one of those things. You know, with a big old butt. But they could just have a big butt, right? Like they don't need a machine. Oh, dude, people would pay for that. They well, they would pay for you pay anything. for all kinds of weird shit. Yeah, I, I pay girls <laughs> to sit on cakes. You do? Yeah. I, I I don't pay for any of that shit, but like, I know people I'm like, would. I'm like, hey, girl, you want to sit on that cake? And she's like, yeah, I'll sit on that cake. Give me fifty bucks. I give her fifty bucks. I mean, Why? you know, people. I don't know. I like cake. Get off on Can't girls smashing like cake and bread with their feet. So yeah, you know, I could, I could see, I could see it having a place. I'm trying to find a classic uh, jiggler machine, and I, I, we need one from like the <laughs> 1980s, right? Or the 50s. By the I mean. way, that's uh, that's my nickname in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was you know, good. word got out that we were having a stereos on the show, and I was actually contacted by a female reporter that told me oh, that yeah. Osteros was a racist and a misogynist. Oh, oh but and she, she's a female Not just reporter, one, but both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it kind of sounded like a dude for some reason. I don't know. Did he oh. sound like this? <laughs> Hello, hey there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna Wait. have known racist and misogynist Osterios on your show, are you? Yep. Because he, you know, he hits women. How how is that whole uh, lawsuit thing going for you? Can you? Uh, how much can well, you talk about? All well, of it. First off, before first off, before we get any farther from that previous inflection point, <laughs> no, I'm not a racist, and I don't do any <laughs> of that stuff. Oh God! Now there's a clip of me saying I'm not a racist, <laughs> which is the worst clip. Yeah. Oh no! And now I've got this clip of me commenting on it. This is going to be really easy to put on the goddamn news. Yep. <laughs> this footage is gold if you think about it. Shit. Any producer would be an idiot to walk away from footage this good. I mean, your job <laughs> is pretty much done. Just let the tape keep rolling. Let this idiot get himself into some kind of disaster. Am I right? Look, I could just drink some tonic water right now <laughs> and then. You'll keep watching this because this footage is so electric. Just watch. 
That's not tonic water. That's pure vodka. <laughs> what? <laughs> And now you got a spit take. You got everything you need. We got it you all. can end it right here. Patreon.com slash Stereos. Please help me out. I got sued by an idiot named George Mannix Oz for $20 million for recording a comedy album where I called him uh, some maybe some not great names hundreds of times to the tunes of various royalty-free Christmas carols I downloaded from a Christian website. The album was called Cuckmas Carols and immediately shot to number one on the iTunes comedy charts. It debuted at number seven on the Billboard comedy charts where it stayed for three entire goddamn weeks and in Iceland it outsold Adele on the week Adele's first new album one came out. That's right. We were number seven. She was number eight. <laughs> wow. So this guy, this Maddox guy, he gets so, he gets butthurt and he sues me and a bunch of other people for $20 million. But recently, he lost his lawsuit. And now he owes me $290. Oh, wow. <laughs> what are you going to spend it on? Yeah, don't spend it all in one place. Oh, the plans I have. I have two plans for his $290. But before I tell you what those are, are there any more questions about what I just said? Because I know this is confusing. Yeah. Uh, is the Christmas album still available or was it had to be removed? So, so uh, Billy the oh, Fridge. Yeah, it's still available okay, at okay. cyberdemon.bandcamp.com. Okay. Billy the Fridge here was at uh, a a, a party at VidCon and ran into Maddox and House Maddox, of Blues. And Maddox was like, "You should come to my house and hang out sometime." Hey. Do you have any advice for Billy? <laughs> should, I, should I have a sleepover? Um, do it. <laughs> <laughs> because here's the thing. So right now he legally owes me two hundred and ninety dollars. He has a. He used to have this real big TV. I want you to go and look around and see, like, what here is worth about two hundred ninety dollars. <laughs> Because he'll never, I, I can't imagine him giving you the money, but you, let's check out what's over there. Yeah, so here's what happens. So, of course, we win this lawsuit because, of course, we do. It gets dismissed before it even goes to trial. It's a pre-trial dismissal because it's bullshit on its face. And uh, But now he has to pay my filing fees. So I have two plans for this $290. The first plan is... I buy a used Nintendo Switch <laughs> and that Mario Rabbids game. And then uh, maybe some snacks. Yeah. You, you don't have a Nintendo Switch yet. No, I, cause I, I, I don't even know how much one costs. Because, like, the moment the Switch came out, I'm like, you know who can't afford one of those? Me. Let's not even start dreaming about this. Um, how are you playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? In my dreams. Oh. It's kind of yeah. weird uh, how he sued everyone in the state of New York, even though he doesn't live in New York. And from what I understand, at least most of the people that he sued also don't live in New York. So, yes, yes, that's absolutely true. There were 10 parties and there were 16 causes of action or civil torts alleged against us. Um, I'm pretty much the only normal guy who lives in New York. He lives in L.A., uh, <laughs> Four of the pe uh, uh, the primary person he was suing lives in L.A. That guy's business partners live in L.A. or Arizona. The corporation I used to work for, I think, is housed in Kentucky or something. <clears throat> he sued Patreon there in San Francisco. I'm the only one in New York. But he sued us all in New York because when you sue someone in New York and you lose, you don't have to pay their legal fees. Oh. Except $190 in Filing fees different from legal fees. That's such garbage. So you you're still on the hook for all your legal fees because well, you mean the thirty you mean the thirty two thousand dollars I spent in lawyers fees? Oh, oh believe yeah, me. Oh, no. Don't believe, I, I, hey, you know what? I I can't say too much, but I can empathize with you a lot. Believe it or not. Wait, um, did you have to pay someone thirty two thousand dollars? For something I had, I, I I'm not going to disclose the the exact amount, but I had some comparable lawyer fees this past year. Oh, because of all that, I'm not getting in. Yeah, 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 I had a I had a slip and fall in Ben's bathroom and, and yeah, that's what happened. Sued him. So here's the other thing I'm going to spend the 290 on. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, you're going to run out of 290s. 
I have two things. One, I'll buy a used Nintendo Switch and I'll finally get to play Zelda Skyward thing and Mario <laughs> Land and I'll be able to get with the Smash Brothers and then do the kart racing. I'll do everything. Or I've been speaking with another law firm that specializes in uh, court debt. And here's what I told them. I want to chop the $290 that Maddox owes me up to bonds. And I want to sell those bonds to other people so that Maddox w may end up owing money to 290 people at once. Now, here's the thing about the $290 that Maddox owes me. It is court-imposed debt. It's not like, oh, you, you're late for your cable bill or you're late for your, your cell phone bill. It accrues 9% interest from the moment it's assigned, making Mad Bonds the safest investment <laughs> on the market. You buy $30 worth of Mad Bonds at 9% interest, that's more than an index fund, that's more than most bond funds, you'd have to go to Bernie Madoff for a return this good. And you can only get them with Mad Bonds, which I will be selling the moment my lawyer tells me I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has a, a catchy name, kind of like the Madcast Network or something like that. It's kind of well, similar. It's called Mad Bucks, which were a oh. digital bent. Yeah, on yeah. He never made. So uh, before we move on really quick, I, I had a few quick announcements. Tomorrow is our Patreon private show. So if you sign up anytime between now and uh, the, the show tomorrow, you'll get to see it live. And I want to remind everyone that tomorrow we will have uh, a, a gaming challenge that uh, in that challenge, we will each wear electroshock dog collars. And just to show you here, uh, the, the loser of each round will get zapped for a predetermined amount of time. And I'll show you how it works here. Like, see how... Oh, actually, it's not working. Oh, there it is. See how the light bulb lights up? Uh, th it's it's enough to power a little mini light bulb on top of this. So that's that's how we test it. That's, that's electricity to your neck. And, and, and Billy the Fridge, before this episode, agreed that if we meet the goal by the end of this episode, he will zap the fuck out of himself. No, right, Billy? No, he didn't. Hold I said, on, hold I on. Said I last, I, I could have swore night. you said that. I, I, last night I made a deal. We'll see. We'll see if you guys are, are generous tonight. We'll see. I'm pissed right now. What? Why? What? You just, you're just offering my I neck up. No, and no. You won't even play a game that I'm good at. You play a game. All your you're games good at. are on a cell phone. Yeah, battle me in Pokemon Go. And we'll see no. what happens. I'm no, it's got to be a game that Pokemon. the people can watch us play live. So sure. it can't be on a cell phone. Okay, then we'll play Magic Cards right. and Pokemon We're going to do our first segment of the show. It's called Troll or Not a Troll. Here we go. All right. So is this person trolling or is this person not a troll? And uh, we played this person in the Crazy People segment before. Huh. Yeah. And uh, people have called him a troll, which I just thought he was autistic. But here you go. Here's the granddaddy of all of his videos. You tell me what you think. One of the saddest things in the world today is the fact that autism is becoming synonymous with anime. Many, many autistic people, for some reason, seem to love anime. They just can't get enough of that anime. They go to conventions. They cosplay. <laughs> they dress up like the characters. They act like geeks and nags. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Why do they love anime? It's giving other autistic people a bad reputation because when people like myself who have autism go on the street and then other people come up to me and say, hey, do you have autism? And I say, yes, I do. And then they say, well, you must like anime, right? Every other autistic kid likes anime, so you must like it too. And I go, no, no, I hate anime. So thoughts, thoughts so far? Okay. He... <clears throat> I'm sure he's autistic, right? That's not that's he not could the be, troll. He could be playing a character. I don't know, man. This rage, this tistic rage, this spastic. I can't say spastic. He doesn't anime. like anime, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not like you're not guaranteed to like it. Maybe he's been watching the worst animes. Maybe he's got animes that aren't good for the tism. There's probably like three or four of them. <laughs> 
Stereos, <clears throat> you know, you know some things. I know you know some <laughs> things. I, I want your professional opinion here. Look, I'm gonna. The answer I give is the right answer. So it'll unfortunately it'll terminate the discussion. You know what I mean? <laughs> but he is. He thinks he's kidding, but this is a real opinion he really has. And the only way he can express it is through, like, a thick layer of irony. But if you sat this kid down, he would say these same things without the voice. Oh, you think the voice so is So not fixing? a troll. So not a troll. Not a troll. No, I'm saying he thinks he's he trolling. He thinks he's trolling, but he... But he can't turn it off. Hold, okay, huh. hold on, though. It, well, it's his intention what matters in trolling. Oh, well, well look... Andy Kaufman thinks he's doing comedy when he's cleaning up plates in a restaurant. Well, what about when okay. he was the intergender world heavyweight champion? Was he trolling oh, okay. then? That's that's completely different. <laughs> uh, because wrestling, of course you're trolling the audience. Yes. <laughs> what, you literally, a guy goes out there and goes like, the New York Knicks suck. And then you're like, boo, I love the Knicks. Like... People kidnap each other's wives in wrestling. It's yeah. fake. <laughs> but what I, I'm saying, though... Are you saying guy, women don't get kidnapped in real life? Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying to a... A, it's usually not televised. Did you know... Like, uh, usually, don't, DDP doesn't usually send his stalking tapes to the cops. As an, as, yeah, as an aside, really quick, I don't know if you've heard this story, but uh, Billy actually opened up for Jake the Snake Roberts recently during his show... And uh, Jake the Snake told a story where he tricked Ravishing Rick Rude into uh, into eating his cum. Have you heard about this? How how does that happen? Exactly? <laughs> well, you you need uh you need a, a Miss Ohio on board. Yeah, yeah. She's, you she's need like a hot girl. Package. Look at look at the <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. This is a story Jake tells during his actual live show. Yeah, I've I've heard it before too. That yeah. was the best thing. He's he, it's it's that good of material. No, it's it, it's a classic. Hey, Asteros, we waited to tell the story. Uh, yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, do you want to so, give a quick sim? Synop- what a classic rib that is. <laughs> yeah, making someone eat your semen. Wow. Yeah. Just the boys being the boys back in the eighties. These aren't. Severely mentally ill people who need oh, help. All wrestlers in the eighties were fucked up. The nineties right. they were fucked up. The seventies they were fucked up. The sixties they were fucked up. They're carnival folk I, with, I'm, with good buds. I marked the fuck out when I met Jake the Snake, and I and I kept going up to Billy. I'm like, dude, I, I want to talk to Jake, but I don't know what to say to him. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to turn into like a nine year old talking to him, you know. And then like when I finally had enough drinks to the point where I was I started talking to him, this blonde chick with huge tits came up and he just totally ignored me. You got twat blocked. <laughs> yeah. So, it was kind of cool though. He didn't completely ignore you. No, 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 you, no, you no. You knew no. the situation. No, you, no, no. You, you I did, walked away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were well, I knew uh, I knew it was a good idea to walk away when Jake the Snake started talking to the blonde chick with huge. T- she was like a like a the tig old biddies. She was like a like a like a milf. Yeah, she, she was on milf level. Yeah, yeah. She was a very sweet woman. She probably gave Jake the Snake very high sweet. praise. High praise. Anyway, troll or not, troll. I cannot stand. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say I, I think that I, I found this guy before on YouTube when I was looking for videos to respond to, and I'm fairly certain I just passed on him as a troll. So I think I'm gonna have to go with troll. Did you see the but, videos I mean, of him dressed like John Cena? Because there are <laughs> videos of him like in full John Cena getup. That only layers the level of autism that he he has. Like autistic people love John Cena. I love John Cena. But I'm not autistic. But you I are. am morbidly obese. You're morbidly Underdogs autistic. Underdogs love John Cena. So, 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 uh, Ast- Asterio says not a troll? He, no, it's a <laughs> troll, but he, it's too... No. He thinks he's trolling. He thinks he's... I guess if you think you're trolling, then I guess you're trolling. Even if, like, you think you're trolling by, uh... By running into, uh... 
like a public place and being like, ah, boogity boogity, I'm a murderer. I'm just trolling. You know, like, remember O.J. Simpson's hilarious prank show, Juiced? No. I, yeah, I never watched that. I thought you were going to say something else. Did that exist? No. Yes, it did. They made a pilot for it. It was a prank show called Juiced, where suddenly O.J. Simpson shows up and he pranks you. It turns out you it turns out the bellhop that's been messing up to getting your bags upstairs is murderer Orenthal James Simpson. <laughs> so I guess it's a joke, even though what's the joke? Uh, yeah, I thought that guy was gonna murder me. Well, he's now, an unconvicted he's murderer, not. right? I mean, what? he's he's, he's, he's also a very big, intimidating guy. Even yeah. now that he's in like his sixties, he's got more trophies than he's got convictions, right? He has the Heisman Trophy, yeah. and he, I, mean, I don't know if he has a Super Bowl. I know he played for the Bills. Why can't we just call him Heisman Bowl. Award winning Orenthal James Look, Simpsons? There's a reason they called him the unknockdownable OJ Simpson because you couldn't knock him down. That's also why they called him Mister Football. He was great at it. Oh, but yeah. today you'd call him murderer OJ Simpson. <laughs> and I'm just saying, I don't, but I guess he's trolling, right? Mm? I say uh, I say not a troll. Yeah, I'm on the not a troll fence Oh my here. God, do we have one? Holy shit. Tie. It's a tie. That doesn't happen tie. very often. It's a tie. Yeah, we both. Oh my God, he's got a puke. Damn it. So does this mean that it's like up in the air that was as to whether or not he's actually a troll? Yeah. I don't or... think I've watched him and I think he's really like super tismy. Let, uh, let me skip ahead a little bit. West me. And then there's the rock rats. The good stuff, you know what? Not the anime. Not the one piece. Not the dragon. I look at his movements and that's autism. Oh man, he's I don't, in the zone. Yeah. Ball Z, a Dragon Ball Y or whatever it's called. I like his new videos because he gained a little bit of weight. I didn't recognize him. And uh he's like his 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 camera's way better not, now. This is an older bleach. video. That stuff is bad. Not bleach. Not whatever crap is out there. We hate anime. We're artistic and we stand against <laughs> anime. We hate not anime. a troll. Not We're a troll. Not, not a, a troll. troll. You look know at, what? For all the look at the, the the layer of sweat across his face. That's got his hair. That's like disheveled. the Kermit's a bitch guy, that's, right? That's not. You can't fake that. Kermit's a bitch. This is. Pure, unadulterated Why you gotta passion. be a goddamn retarded ass pussy ass frog? Krispy Kreme ass frog <laughs> ass bitch. Krispy Kreme ass frog. <laughs> that guy was not a troll, but that was cringe rap segment. Dude, I love that shit. Dude, there's multiple Kermit diss raps out there, what? too. Why do people hate Kermit the Frog? He, no, 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 it's him. It? It's the same oh, it's guy. it's the same guy? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, like... Did Kermit abuse him as a kid? Did Jim Henson abuse this kid? No, Jim Henson wouldn't do that. This poor young black man? The guy who did Elmo might, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> I just picture someone with that voice doing that. Well, hello there. Let me touch mm. your little pecker. Hello. Frankly, Miss Piggy, I don't give a hoot. Do you want a frog mm. in your throat? <laughs> Worse. <laughs> All right. Uh, time to move on to the action news segment. <laughs> Today's episode of DP Action News is, of course, sponsored by Puking Dog. Because um, when you got to puke, yeah, you got to puke while you fucking gotta a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. It happens. Um, so here's something we really wanted to address. If you have a YouTube channel right now, you should know that YouTube is purging spam accounts this week. Damn. And I'll tell you what, if you have a channel where, you know, it's existed for a long amount of time and you've had to ban people over like half a decade and they keep making fake ass accounts to come back, this can affect you. Yes. Like our channel has, uh, the, the Drunken Peasants channel uh, so far during this purge has lost about 3,000 subscribers in one day are you sure that wasn't because we had steve hofstetter on last night no 
he, he was great. Yeah, yeah, he was good. It, actually, he redeemed himself to the audience, and, and the audience is different now. Too, I, well, yeah, so. I think we well, have a more refined uh, crowd around these days. You know, we all saw Hillary lose, so now we, we realize that the SJWs were right. No, right. I don't agree with that. They but anyway, right, dude. anyway, I'm. So, uh, <laughs> what were you gonna say? Well, I was gonna say that um, technically, on the YouTube algorithm, at least the last time that I, I uh, read up on it, um, every time like you do some kind of action and you trigger something in, in YouTube, it actually does a check of like some of your subscribers, and that's why you, like like there there was for a while like every time you'd upload, you'd lose subscribers or something like yes. that. Uh, there yeah. was that problem. That still happens yeah, to a, that still happens to our channel. Part of it's due to the the change, but. Also, I mean, it just happens like clockwork. It starts to go away if we don't download long enough, and then we'll start getting a net gain, and then we do we upload again, and then we'll lose. So, but it's it's slowly tapering off, but not after this. I mean, you know, uh, it, it it's noticeable. I I saw our loss today, and and then I googled YouTube purge, and then I saw all of these articles, and then actually there's an alert. On our channel right now, too, telling me that we might get uh, that we might notice hmm. a significant drop in subscribers, and so far it's been about three thousand. So, do you guys yeah. think this will be trouble for my YouTube channel? I love the Russian government. dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I started talking about how I think the Russian government's great. They clearly have our best wishes at heart. Overnight, I got over two million subscribers. <laughs> Things are going great. I do think Russia cares more about the American people than America does. Oh, God. I do think that. I you know, no, I, I do not think that at all. That That is fake news. <laughs> Asterios. Wait, wait, ever I since. Had joke. Okay, I had go ahead. Joke. Do it. Okay. You know, we'd get less upset at the YouTube algorithm if they called it the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> it's your buddy. It's your friend over here. Oh, you know what algorithm sounds like? Al Gore rhythm, and we yeah. both know he doesn't have any. He'd have the oh, worst cringe rap segment. So, uh, I want you to put on the bad. Wario hat and gloves so badly now. Ever nope, since you until nope, pay me. Fuck you, oh, is that me. like the money to show up for free, kids? Fuck you put pay me. in my butt or do something. Is that like the, the money bit. shot for you? Put the the Wario the get up. Be the Kids, yeah, we should. Wario will do we should get costumes whatever. so we don't have. Can to you do like a Wario what? laugh? Can you go? Ha, 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 I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Wario's gonna go digging for gold <laughs> in some very erotic places. Holy shit! <gasps> this is on Chatterbait later. Like, what the fuck? Just pay up. So pay the money. Give so, give Wario his gold coins. You know, he loves. you know, and then <laughs> oh, stereos. Some I I'm in, in negotiations. I'm, I'm in sorry, what? I'm in negotiations with with the Dick Masterson people now. We're we're bringing Road Rage to Seattle, but I was like, no, nope, I'm not doing it unless Asterios is there. So you have to come through, dude. I love Seattle. Yeah, Ballard a lot. Yeah, but you know what? Here's the thing about Seattle. Everyone always says like, oh, the coffee, the coffee. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's good. <laughs> I guess. What I guess when you have a city of people who give a shit about one thing, they manage not to fuck it up. It's great, goddamn. No, we like <laughs> we like weed too. We got good weed. Yeah, weed is legal here. It's illegal here. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. You gotta come oh, to Seattle. I was up in uh, Toronto for Ca Canadian Marijuana Legalization Day. I was there. Uh, well, I I was in Vancouver before Canadian Weed Legalization Day, and it was just as legal there as it is now. Oh, I'm guessing it was impossible to find weed, <laughs> dude. Dude, I literally <laughs> it was it was July first, which is their Independence Day up there, and I I took a train up there because it's really close. We're really close to the border here, and. There's a park across the street from the train station. There was literally people selling weed in the park across the street from the train station. They were selling plants. They were selling edibles. And people were laying in the park smoking. They had a reggae band playing. And the cops were there just hanging out. And they said hi to me when I walked past them 
smoking a joint. I was like, where? What? 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 Oh, I Here's grew up. how you got to think about it, and I love this. Now that's a, that's that's an example of positive impact policing. Now imagine this: every time you talk to a cop, they handed you a joint. People will be running towards the cops, chatting up the cops all the time, and then that way, the cops are the criminals. Now they got this kind of thing going on. Maybe they start having sex. Maybe <laughs> they, some of the cops are like. Blonde girls with ponytails who are like, you've been very bad. Fuck criminals. the police. Fuck the police. Yes. Fuck them. Literally. Yeah. Maybe they're all a bunch of scantily clad women. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put women in power. Let's, let's, let's make the girls uh, in blue. Look at these. Uh, f uh, look at this FAQ from YouTube here. Um, How do I know if I had spam subscriptions? Well, you'll lose a lot of subscribers. Well, I always lose a lot of subscribers. Well, fuck you. If you remove spam subscribers from your channel subscriber count, you'll see a banner in YouTube Studio or Classic Creator Studio. This is rolling out over the next few days. You saw that. How do you know these are spam and not people wanting to subscribe to my channel? We use a mix of industry-leading techniques and proprietary technology to identify spam on the platform. Often these types of actions are meant to make channels look more popular than they actually are. Why does my channel have spam subscribers? In an attempt to hide their behavior, spam services tend to subscribe to a variety of channels instead of just subscribing to the channel of that, that purchased the spam. How will this affect watch time on my channel? Since these are artificial actions, we do not expect removing these will impact watch time. What if I have fallen below the YouTube Partner Program threshold of 1,000 subscriptions as a result of the removal? Channels that had a high percentage of spam and fall below 1,000 subscribers will no longer meet the minimum oh, requirement. Oh, that's so sad. That's if they had a high percentage of spam, though. Yeah, so I mean, bullshit. like, out of 1,000, yeah, that would have to be a yeah, lot. Yeah, it would have to be a lot to, to, to matter. And uh, Look, I'm going to say this. The only reason we're all upset about this is because it makes our EP just feel a little bit shorter. Yeah. Like, we're all losing a half an inch, yeah. and we're mourning that. I need some inches back. <laughs> I've been on the cusp of 100K for like yeah, a year and a half. Yeah, you have been. And now it's going to be even harder. So you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to, I'm going to chatterbait. The only thing you can do is to buy some spam bots to make up the difference. I, I thought about that. I'm glad I didn't because they well, would have just taken them all yeah. back. Oh, shit. I just wanted my Wait spam bots. Wait until the purge. Yes. Then whatever spam bots survive are the hardiest of the breed. Yes. <laughs> the king bots. Spam. Here's even. another article we have. The YouTube Rewind 2018 is officially the most disliked video on YouTube. It wow. Took over a week to be I'm sure Justin Rebecca Bieber. Black feels good about that. Justin Bieber was number one. Was he? Yeah, his and he took him yeah. ten years to get. Is almost, it the one where he was pissing in the bucket? No, it was uh -oh. baby, baby, was baby. It? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it had it had just about the same number as likes as it had dislikes. <laughs> Marquise Brownlee, he did a video down there that says the problem with YouTube Rewind, and he, he should just say the problem was Will Smith called me Mark Ass Brownlee. Did he? He <laughs> Mark Mark Ass. He's like, I want Fortnite and Mark Ass Brownlee. Mark Ass. <laughs> Mark Ass. <laughs> I think that's a Freudian slip on Will Smith's part. I think Will Smith. I want to mark his slip ass. Them Freuds. Yep. He's into it. Wait, this YouTube Rewind video was the most disliked video of all time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Even more disliked than that video of my taint? <laughs> well, I, I, I think, think that was RedTube or whatever. I do think more people saw the Rewind than saw your taint, so that gives it an inherent advantage that your taint but didn't But I'm looking have. for ratios here. Look, True. if I had three dislikes and one like, then I've got 300% dislikes. What's their ratio? <laughs> uh, more than 300%. Is it? What is it? 10 to 1? Wait, we have a godless engineer on I think here. it's about 10 godless to 2. Engineer. It's, Commune it's with him like, and himself. It's more like 5 to 1 right now. Last time I checked, it was like 2 million to 10 million. Yeah. I could get a 10 to 1 ratio of dislike on my tank. It's a mess me. down there. <laughs> it looks like a minefield. <laughs> Literally, my tank looks like Freddy Krueger's head. Oh. I'm telling you right now, my take could grate cheese. Oh. If you're looking for, like, let's stop looking for life on Mars, and let's start looking for it in my taint, because there's plenty of water down there, as we all know. The essential building block for life. 
Is there a lot of water in your tank? You should get like a towelette or something. Give All yourself- I'm saying is this. Matt Damon is currently stranded on my tape. <laughs> but hey, but I feel if we all work together, we can get him back home. Well, I think after his comments he made on the Me Too movement, that w- Wait, most of oh us no. would leave what him there. What did Damon do? He what just, did he, what? He, did, what? This was a while ago that he did this. It was almost a year ago that he said that people are need to have more nuance when they discuss the Me Too movement. He's like, some people aren't as bad as others. And people were like, wrong! Wrong! Oh, man, bad! All right, people are bringing this up hey, in the chat. Probably said a little worse than that. I, maybe, I don't know. He said something about being stuck on this guy's taint. I can't imagine Matt Damon going, you know, when it comes to the Me Too movement... Nuance is oh, nuance is our friend. Well, yeah. Going boo. Well, nobody. Wait, uses I have the- what Matt Damon said. He said right here. He said, "Fuck bitches, get money." Whoa, <laughs> that's a motto to live by. You know, what? I'm going to play this just so we can talk about it because it's relevant and people are bringing it up in the chat. Monkey Jones. It is now official that my two YouTube channels that were deleted are not going to come back. I've spent the. How old is Monkey Jones? He could either be 20 or 45. 23 year old and he can look like that till the day he dies. He's America's newest teenager. He's the reason Dick Clark died. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would guess mid 20s. No, no. He's got a little bit of age to his face. My former child actor, Monkey Jones. Three months younger than my girlfriend. How old is he? Three. 23? What? Holy shit. He does not look 23. I'm sorry. He doesn't. It looks like a goddamn. That's why he wants to become one of those twenty-one Jump Street cops. <laughs> Last few days in close contact with Keemstar and a trusted flagger on Twitter. Uh, and this morning, they both had bad news for me. Keemstar was in contact with his uh, people at YouTube, and they said, "Yeah, we're not going to give those channels back. Uh, they were rightfully terminated." The trusted flagger, who is a professional. An expert in community guideline strikes and in copyright and all of that stuff. He watched the videos that got taken down and he said, Oh yeah, yeah, these were wrongly taken down. This is not hate speech. This does not promote violence. Uh, I'm going to, you know, talk to my people and get this fixed. But they came back to him and said, No, no, nah, we're keeping it down. So it's- Sometimes I feel bad for that trusted flagger guy. God, how many fucking messages does that guy get? A lot. I've, I've, <laughs> I've hit him up for like people a couple times. And I'll tell you what. Do not contact trusted flagger if you have a DMCA. He does. He has nothing to do with DMCA's whatsoever. It's only Wait. flags. It's only community guidelines stuff. That's all he works with. Yes, please don't contact Trusted Flagger if you have a problem with the DMCA. But do contact him if you're down at the YMCA. He loves hanging out down there till all hours of night, yeah. just hanging out with his construction worker and Native American and <laughs> sailor buddies. Yeah, a lot of young men down there. Seems clear to me so, that... Well, I was just going to ask, like, what got it taken down? Like, what, what was the content strike? They got him taken down. He he made a, a mashup know. video between Hitler and school shooters. Yeah, I don't know Mumkey that well. We've had him on once. He was nice to me. Oh. I did find some of his. I mean, like, is it? Hey, is it? I'm one of his best friends. Do you guys actually want to know what's happening? I yeah. do. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's his Elliot Roger thing? Is that just a troll? Does it like okay? What? No, I mean, I'll tell you guys, I do a podcast with Monkey. I just visited him last weekend. I, me and my girlfriend drove down to North Carolina. Like, I love the guy. Uh, we've known each other for a couple of years now, and we've been doing comedy together. I was in his movie, Monkey Jones Stops a School Shooter. Yeah, I played yeah. his dad and God. Did you guys ever see that movie? No, I'd love to see it, though. It's 22 minutes long. We made it in a weekend. It's called Monkey Jones Stops a School Shooter. And it's uh, it's really funny. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so Monkey Jones, he's like an edgy internet comedian. He's been on YouTube for years. He had over a quarter of a million subscribers. He's had successful podcasts. One time, I was taking the bus home to visit my mom and dad. And, like, a teenage girl stopped me. And she goes, like, 
hey, uh, are you a Stereos? I go, yeah. She goes, oh, I know you from Monkey Jones's videos. And I go, hey, oh, awesome. Do you want a selfie? And she goes, no. And then she just kept walking. <laughs> like, Everybody loves Mumpkey Jones. Um, now he's done a lot. He's done a series for a long time on Elliot Roger, kind of dissecting the life of this crazy, creepy person. And the videos he makes are not kind to Elliot Roger. He made a video about how Elliot was an idiot for spending like a hundred thousand dollars on lottery tickets. Like, but YouTube saw him as someone who was was like trafficking and shocking content even though if you watched it for two seconds it wasn't and um and he got flagged by the fucking bots and then he appealed and and then the people were just like no we you know pretty much i get the sense that they just don't like his content so uh what's your opinion on endless jess then because i know that they're uh they, they had like uh did monkey and endless jess have a falling out no, see, that's the interesting thing. Like, m every time I've spoken to, about Monk, about Endless Jest to Bumpkey, because I didn't know who he was. He was a guy that followed me on Patreon, Endless Jest, like, pledged $5. And then I was seeing that they worked together, or they used to. Every single time I brought Endless Jest up to Monkey, he said nothing but nice things. Now, Monkey and Digibro don't like each other. That's another story. <laughs> but, um,. I don't think there's any static between him and Jess, like, in real life. Okay. Yeah, because we, uh, it, uh, almost a year ago, we were having Jess on as a regular here, and then he just kind of disappeared. He uh, He's a really talented and entertaining guy. He just, uh, I think he was getting trolled into oblivion or something. What I heard was that a lot of people were making fun of him. Um and I think he probably did the smart thing and just turned the computer off. Because it's yeah. like, oh my god, I get into shitstorms. People, I make one tweet about Trump. Like, and it's clearly a joke. Like, do you see the other day when Trump tweeted the phrase, like, everything I did was very legal and very cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the best! <clears throat> so I, like, make a joke about very legal and very cool. Suddenly got 50 people up my ass on Twitter. Everyone's, like, going off on me about the flat tax on Facebook. So it's like, yeah, I think we've all been in the center of these shitstorms. So just did the smart thing and turned the computer off, I guess. Yeah. Good for him. He did for a while. And then he kind of eased back into it with us, and then he started making... He started making wrestling videos, which uh, but... we, we can... We can kind of relate, though, because most of our fan base hates wrestling. What? Uh, <laughs> Why? It's great. They, they hate it, uh, but but they know we like it, or, or at least we like we liked it. Like, Billy was a wrestler in the indies for a short time, too. Well, I, I trained and did some, some light indie work, but it, it was more of a hobby. He was, yeah, yeah, like you went up to Vancouver and trained, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, Becky Lynch actually used to train at the same place I did, and I'd, I'd come in after her sessions and see her. She was like 19 at He the time. was doing like the big man, like the giant wrestler gimmick. Yeah. You know? I didn't have to do a lot of work because I was a big fan. Like, guy. like. So, so was your thing like you never got put on your back? No, I did a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you I remember the old days with the really big guys? Yeah. They would do the like, I'm going to fall. Oh, I remember the first time Yokozuna got taken off of his feet. And they yeah. saved that for like a, a title match. Like he like stumbled and fell like after getting his ass beat uncontrollably. Yeah. That used to be a staple in wrestling. I, I bumped quite a bit. I would do like. I, I kind of like did Mick Foley style bumps, like off the fucking edge and what? shit. What? Not like sixteen. Well, you feet, outweighed but, like, Mick Foley by like three hundred pounds. Yeah, I got built-in cushion. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got more teeth. It's, well, for now. <laughs> oh, that's true. Wait, I talk a lot of shit. Me. Somebody's gonna kick my teeth out soon. Nah, usually people just laugh at that. Anyway, back to <laughs> Monkey. This is like a hit job, specifically by YouTube against me. The fact that. Two of my channels received, you know, I, I got six strikes in a single day. Uh, even on videos that were private with zero views, it seems like YouTube was going Yeah, they it. do that. Fuck the... I'll tell you what. Uh, sh uh, <laughs> as someone who's been doing YouTube professionally for, like, almost five years now, uh, if you have any question about a video... 
get rid of it. Don't put it on private. YouTube can still see it. If you have any reservation about a video to the point where you think you should put it private, download it and delete it from YouTube. Yeah. Their way to target me specifically, and I, I really don't know why. I guess they just want to clean up their platform, and they don't want Elliot Roger content on there. And the fucked up thing to me is, when you get a strike on a channel, it's like a warning telling you, "Hey, this thing you did is not right. Don't do it again." But when you give six strikes in a single day, you don't really give me an opportunity to clean my act up. You just delete me immediately without giving me a chance to delete the other Elliot Roger videos or even know why or how this yeah YouTube they retroactively enforce rules too like I could have made a video three years ago that was totally within the rules of YouTube back then and then all of a sudden YouTube creates a new rule that makes that video against community guidelines before I know it I have a strike you know it's 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 crazy uh, could you imagine I, if laws, all laws, were uh, retroactively enforced? No, I mean, yeah, yes, that would be completely insane. I think, though, that another thing that we need to talk about here is that a computer took a man's entire source of income away. Like today, a computer took a man's job away. There was a bot that was looking for Elliot Rogers, and then when it found it, it flagged it, and then... By the time human beings got to it, the human beings just didn't care. But, like, hu human beings clearly weren't the first people to flag those videos because one of his videos that was flagged had zero views and was private. Like, not no human being ever saw that video, but a computer yeah. did. That happened, like, Monkey Joe. That happened to this channel, thankfully, with only one video. Mm. And, uh, it, 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 but it hurt incredibly. It took away yes. three months of streaming capabilities. Uh, it was a private video, a video that had been private for over a year. It was it was a stream for Patreon that uh, got flagged by CBS because we used fifty seconds of a of a clip from a TV show that CBS owned. Uh, right, and clearly that's fair use because you were a discussion program and you were discussing the clip. And it was a three hour show. That fifty seconds of a sitcom or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yes, of course. That's a that's a fair use exception. That's the definition of a fair use exception. Right now, people, everyone, like Monkey Jones is twenty three. Since the day, since he's thirteen years old, he's seeing people become YouTube stars, and he's told. So he tells himself, "I'm going to become a YouTube star. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be funny on the internet." And then in one day, a computer takes away all this guy's fucking money. He's got rent to pay. He's got to buy groceries. He's got to pay for his health insurance. He's a freelancer, and like. This is disgusting. So if you want to help this guy out, he's just moved over to Twitch. So you could follow him at twitch.tv slash Mumpkey Jones. Just give him a follow. It's free and you'll start to see a stream. So, so um, yeah. his, his Elliot Roger videos, what are they like? What like? So he's not glorifying Elliot Roger is what you're saying. No, um, I don't think so at all. Because what he does is he paints an authentic and complete picture. Like... There's a video where he's just going through Elliot Rogers' diaries, and his diaries are like hours and hours long. So, um, so Godless Engineer, what, what what do you think? Just be honest about it. Like, uh, can can someone make videos about Elliot Roger? And it, depending on how they're presented, should they be able to do that without getting kicked off of YouTube? Well, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, I think context matters of the clip. And, uh, you know, I can only go off of what um, <clears throat> Asteros, is that Asterios. how you pronounce your name? That's correct. Uh, I can only go off what he's saying about it. I mean, if he wasn't painting him in a favorable light, I mean, I, I don't see an issue with that directly. But, um, I mean, I, I think that just the context of the clip matters. And uh, I... I don't think that all videos should necessarily be allowed on the platform, but I also don't think that like strict sh censorship is needed. So I, I think that what's happened to Monkey is very unfair, and I think that YouTube should not have like 
sh- like struck him six times and and taken uh, you know all uh, both of his channels uh, off without him being able to correct any kind of behavior or anything like that because I've gotten two video strikes on my channel. Uh, one. Um, got a lot of attention because it was like a really racist preacher and then the other one was the same racist preacher trying to say that he's not racist but he's still racist and the church actually claimed both of those videos Uh, and I got struck for it Um, and so at one point I had two strikes on my channel and uh, they came like back to back and I guess I'm just glad that it wasn't like three in a row or something where's the line though like okay the racist preacher if he had uploaded his his racist video to YouTube, should that be allowed on YouTube without your well, commentary? You see, the church the church flagged my video to have it taken down due to copyright violation. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit different than what's happened with Monkey Monkey. Uh, but I'm just saying that it. I feel like what's happened with him is unfair because he should be given a chance. I guess to, my question is: Should someone be allowed to upload racism to YouTube? Uh, I mean. I don't. I don't know. I, it really depends on how direct kind kind of the racism is. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think that there's a certain line. There is a certain line, and there's definitely people that sort of, you know, tight tightrope walk that line. How about David and Duke, so, someone who doesn't walk the line? Well, no, 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 no. See, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's. I think it's a little bit of, like this is a good general conversation to have. Right. 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 But like very specifically, like Monkey Jones is. Puts con- puts content out that's nowhere near. I like, agree. David Duke. Yeah. You know I agree. I mean? Like no, 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 no. Yeah. I agree. I was just I was trying to feel for his personal threshold because he mentioned that certain content shouldn't be here, and I agree. Like porn, like if they you know if they don't want shit that's illegal, obviously, yeah, that shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I think we could all agree. Like, hey, should Al Qaeda be able to register a YouTube account? Of course and upload not. Upload training videos that teach people at home how to make bombs. Like, no, that should. There's got to be something between that and like a satirist like Monkey Jones. And I feel like these things are being equated. And it's like, who wins? The only reason this is being done is because YouTube wants <laughs> to sell more ads to giant fucking companies like Coke and Pepsi. It's That's true. the thing. Coke and Pepsi don't want their ads to be accidentally served against a very funny takedown of Elliot Rogers' ethos because they just see the words Elliot Rogers. I have a you know solution. I, mean? like, I have a solution. Uh, YouTube, and I've said this before, YouTube should take a page from Twitch. On Twitch... Uh, bits exist and, and, and people who don't have money to give to their favorite creators can watch ads and generate bits, which translate to real money. And with that, the ads are actually separate from the channels. It's the user that decides where the ad revenue goes instead of putting an ad over uh you know having having an algorithm put ads over videos the videos are uh, the, the 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 ads are a place where you generate revenue for your favorite creators and at this point with the with the ad revenue uh i've seen it would probably even generate more ad revenue for channels at this point uh, based on what we're getting like if if because people you know they they create a youtube account they create you know they fill in their demographic information and they get ads based on that information and also based on what they watch and then they give their bits to who they want i think youtube should gener- uh should adopt a bit type system then they don't have to worry about whose uh videos they're running ads over it, it's not well, even about I mean, that i think that the issue before was the uh, was the companies running the ads didn't want to be associated with like that particular content. Right. So I, I think that the essential problem would probably still exist. No, it wouldn't. Okay. So so uh, on Twitch, if I if I want to support a channel, if I go to their channel, uh, there might be a generic ad play o- played over the channel, but otherwise. I would have to go to a special place to consume ads targeted to me to earn bits. 
And then I would give those bits to channels that I like. So there's a separation okay. uh, between where the ads are seen and the channels. Uh, it's it's okay. It, it's it's completely separated, so it's not like Coca Cola gets their ad played over a, a you know a, a a white supremacist ad. It's people watch an ad and get bits and give them to who they want. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. I, I didn't know. I didn't know that's how Twitch operated. Yeah. Now, yeah. So. Yeah, so it I it might it might work, but I, I don't know. I think that would probably take a a pretty heavy recode on on uh, YouTube's end. Well, they could still run ads, but uh, you know uh, they can run ads, you know, more selectively, and then let the whole system of I'm voluntarily watching ads to earn bits. I'm just calling them bits because that's what Twitch calls them to whatever the the currency of the website now. I think that would solve a lot of problems anyway. It's happening. So I really, I stood no chance. Uh, they wanted me gone. And now, uh, this channel right here is the biggest uh, social media account that I have. Far bigger than my Twitter or, or anything else that I have. So here are my plans. I got a, a bunch of plans on how to move forward. So I, I guess... Uh, <sighs> I don't know what what more there is to say about this. Look up Monkey Jones's channel and subscribe to it. He's what on is Twitch too now? So, well, well, yeah, let, yeah. Let me give you guys a few specific calls to action because, unfortunately, you know, his YouTube channels are under serious threat right now. Uh, you can follow him on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Monkey Jones. That's M U M K Y Jones. He's also now on Patreon, which you know, like he used to have a stable income. Get two hundred and fifty thousand followers on YouTube, and that went away in a goddamn day. So you can so like, how's this guy gonna plan for his rent? Like he probably just bought a bunch of fucking Christmas presents. So if you want to help this guy out, you go to Patreon.com/slash Mumpkey Jones. Um, right now he's using it to try to crowdfund a feature film, and so every dollar you donate uh, gets him close to making a feature-length movie. Yeah, so let's make him a fucking movie star. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, hell yeah. Then Mumkey stops a school shooter uh, <laughs> with starring a stereo <laughs> as his dad. Oh god, it, it will become yes. uh, it will become uh, his cinematic history. It'll be the the, the beginning. It'll be like uh, the Cannibal the the musical that Trey Parker made before he became. South Park boy with Matt When Stone. someone wants money, you say, "What's it for?" Well, right now we <coughs> don't know exactly what that five billion dollars. Buys. Currently, the border has about 650 miles of barrier. About half of that only stops cars, and some of the rest barely stops people. So you see the vehicle barrier there, and the old stuff, well, it's old and rusty and pretty short. Well, Homeland Security says $5 billion will build 215 miles of wall, likely Bollard-style fence, 5 miles San Diego, 14 in El Centro, 27 in Yuma, Nine in El Paso, 55 Laredo, 104 miles in the Rio Grande Valley. But does it replace old fence? Is it a secondary fence or is it new fence, meaning additional miles? We don't know. How much is spent on cameras, sensors and drones? ICE, Border Patrol agents don't know. We asked the White House. Cong it was funny. Uh, I felt kind of weird because I think the wall would be a waste of money. And I think it's ridiculous. Uh, but when we went to road, uh, Dick Masterson road rage in Portland, they were doing the build the wall chant. And I was yeah. like, <laughs> I, maybe uh, we should just give the money to the people that are trying to get into America. And, and a wall is, is like building a big flat statue at this point. It's like a symbol. Well, let's, let's pay the people that are trying to come into America to stay in Mexico and build the wall out of mud and stuff. The wall is bullshit. It's nothing. But at least this way, those people get to buy some food. The wall doesn't stop shit. And, and, and Trump just recently admitted, which, contradicts a lot of bullshit i've heard from people who supported trump it's not going to be a coast to coast wall covering every they inch of border 200 and what yeah, 44 yeah, miles yeah. that's well, it. it he said that the other day though when he was arguing with pelosi and schumer he said that 
that it's not going to cover the entire border. See, now shit's happening little by little. And when the wall doesn't happen, which I've said from day one, it's not going to happen, which it's literally not happening now. A wall with holes in it is not a wall, right? I mean, uh, so it's a it's, shield. It's it's garbage. It, it's, it oh, does it nothing. Was garbage. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> Well, I was going to say, uh, yeah, it, it's it's definitely not going to happen. There's no way with the amount of time that Trump has still in office and the way that he's been acting, he's not going to get the amount of money he needs to build his wall because, I mean, honestly, we're going into over a trillion dollars in debt and and whatnot. And so, I mean, it's 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 literally but not hey, going to happen. But like, hey, I thought he Mexico can, was going to pay for it, man. <laughs> it was well, supposed- yeah. That's what he said to get elected. <laughs> right. He said so much shit. He said Hillary would be in jail. He said he was going to build a coast-to-coast border wall. Now he says that's not going to happen. Yeah. The, the wall's you know, not going to happen it, at all. I find, it, I find it hilarious how there was that whole chant about, you know, lock her up. But then, like, every almost everybody that worked with Trump to get him in the White House is going to be locked up or face some kind of like repercussions. Wait like, a minute. So that's not that none of Trump's people have gone to prison. Well, I mean, except for his campaign manager and his lawyer. Manafort. But no, that's just no, what Cohen, his Cohen, lawyer, Michael Cohen, who yeah, had an yeah. office down the hall from a yeah. Trump oh, Tower. That's true. Oh. But not as national security. No, wait, Michael Flynn wait. did go to jail. <laughs> and Michael Flynn's son in jail. Uh, well, the, oh no, wait, Papadopoulos, Papadopoulos <laughs> too. But certainly that's not yeah. what. what? <laughs> Trump, okay, if Trump was a smart man, which he's not. He would take all this wall money he's trying to budget and build a fucking brand new prison with a presidential suite. Nice. <laughs> Nice presidential cell. He won't go to prison. You don't think so? If, if, if the worst thing that'll happen is that he'll lose the presidency. You think? Yes, he'll lose the presidency and then he'll be pardoned by Mike Pence. Yeah. You don't. Th- oh my God! You don't think that'll happen? I think he's going to jail, dude. I think he's gonna be no, cellmates with my no, boy Martin Shkreli. No, no, Mike Pence will get a pardon and can pardon Trump as president. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, Mike- I believe that. Uh, He's going to be like, we all need to, to jail. move on and let this guy out of jail. Okay, what if what if Trump doesn't re uh, get, get reelected? I guarantee you that we have a new even, Democratic if, president. even if Mike, okay, let I, I don't think this is going to happen, but let's say hypothetically Trump gets impeached, gets uh, removed from office, gets charged, and maybe he's facing actual prison time. Uh, Mike Pence, even if Mike Pence doesn't actually like Trump, would pardon Trump anyway just to get him out of the way so he can focus on uh being president cuz that's what he really wants right well yeah but wouldn't he I mean, already be out of the way if he's in prison yeah but then he'll have to deal with why didn't you pardon Trump and then he'll have to explain <laughs> but that but what if Pence is the mole but other, in the otherwise office? he can just push Trump to the side and be like yeah I pardon Trump I'm president now. What are you going to do about and what, it? And what if he makes an example out of Trump so that he doesn't look like he's dirty with I him? I don't think that'll look good on him. I think he. I think it would look best on him if he wants to actually win an election to pardon Trump. Unless he is the mole and he's getting... Uh, if, no, no, no. I'm saying even if he's the mole, pardon Trump, get him the fuck away from you. Get, like, be like Get him away from you if he's like, we're going to see to it that your press fully charged or all these charges... No, are I would be with Trump you. secretly and be like, hey... Get the fuck away from politics. Don't bother me anymore. I'm going to pardon you. Uh, keep, keep your nose clean. And uh, stick to reality shows, buddy. <laughs> That's what I would say. I don't believe in reality anymore. Okay, well, good response to what I just said. <laughs> We've got nothing, even this morning. So is this fight about money or politics? We'll consider this year, Congress will spend... $5 billion in aid to Afghanistan, $11 billion on green energy subsidies, $14 billion on earmarks. Democrats say they oppose a wall, yet from President Clinton through Barack Obama, congressional Democrats voted for, approved, and built miles of border wall. Yeah, Pence is a Bible-thumping moron, I agree, but he stands the most to gain from uh, Trump being impeached, right? Well, Anyway, sorry, go ahead. 
Well, no, yeah. Well, I mean, he he does stand like uh, to gain the most, I guess, other than the rest of the country. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good point. But, yeah. Um, you know, I, I, part of that report, though, it's not that the Democrats like don't want the wall necessarily. Like they 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 don't like they don't want to waste money, and they want to put money into like border security that's actually going to work. It, so it's not it's not that they're just against the wall, just you know, flat out. It's it's that they're against wasting the money on something that's going to be ineffective. Well, is what it is. Yeah, I mean, like, everybody wants border security. Border security makes a lot of sense. Who do, who wants insecure borders? I don't even want to date insecure borders. You know, hot girls that are boarding at my Airbnb. <laughs> I and they're them. so insecure. And I'm like, ah, you know? But you got to think about that. it like this. You know, is the best way <laughs> to keep illegal immigrants out of our country a big giant wall now i got a stat right here that says that 40 percent of unauthorized immigrants come into the country under a legal visa and then stay now overstay their visa so these are people who a wall wouldn't stop a yeah. lot of times they fucking flew here yeah it's the, the so, wall doesn't so make like, sense. Is a wall the best idea? I don't think so. No, but that's no. just me. I could be. There's wrong. already wall, tunnels, holidays. and if the wall is in reality a fence, like they're saying, uh, I mean, like people can dig tunnels under that shit. The wall is like and a statue. Think of all the. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And think of all the hot apple pies that will be cooling near those fences. Ooh. Delicious pies calling calling hobos <laughs> there by their noses. Yeah, cooked by these insecure boarders that hey. have nothing else to do but make pie because nobody wants to date them. <laughs> didn't you get a didn't you get a tweet uh, not too long ago from Dolph Ziggler talking about the lawsuit? Yeah. yeah, Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler and I go way back. Damn, um, dude. Yeah, because he used to be a judge over at a show I would do called The Torn Room Nerds. Now, does Dolph know my name? No. <laughs> would he recognize me? Probably not. Would he beat me on sight? Yes. <laughs> but me and him are best friends. Yeah. And, uh, oh, John Morrison also recently favorited one of my tweets. So <laughs> I'm doing pretty well with very cut wrestlers who are, weren't given pushes by the wwe john morrison yeah. has a picture of him uh with dick and maddox together which yep. is like a, one of the rarest type of photos you can have yeah because we because john morrison was another judge at the turn of nerds like we all used to do a comedy show together at the upright citizens brigade and then maddox went crazy on the rest of us <laughs> maddox didn't sue dolph ziggler no, <laughs> but I mean, you know, you can't sue a man who has a move called the zigzag. He'll just zag right out of it. Yeah. Or zig, you never know with him. Yeah. <laughs> if your finisher is the zigzag, you are you can't be sued. It's a fact. Yeah, either you're using them to roll delicious joints or put delicious wrestlers in the mat. Yes. You know, yeah. uh, you know Dolph Ziggler banged not only uh, Amy Schumer, but also Sonny. <laughs> But Sonny. I wouldn't use the word bad. May have had a relationship. <laughs> and and what's her name? What's Trish Paytas. Trisha Paytas. The YouTuber dude. Trisha Paytas. What's his what's his deal? Jeez. What's he into? I've never met a funnier person in real life. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler, he is the quickest on it. He's like the best improviser I've ever met. He's incredibly quick on his feet. He's super charming. He's super humble. He looks like a Ken doll. Like he's from Ohio, he's like I am. A woman wants. Yeah, but he gives he gives it away to all these uh, portly Trisha Paytas. Women. Yeah, he's, and then Sunny, hey, Sunny in her fifties. Didn't you see Amy Schumer in uh, in that movie uh, uh, Trainwreck? Yeah, I Look, saw. Hot no thanks. Would I no. fuck Amy Schumer? Of course. You know what? She replaced in that movie. She replaced uh, Dolph with John Cena. Ziggler with John Cena, which is super unfair because Ziggler would have been fucking hilarious in that role. The character was based on him. I know. Yeah. It's like when they didn't cast the guy who was Kramer to play Kramer. Well, you know. <laughs> what did You've he got a great Kramer right here? I <clears throat> I just want to think that at the end of the day, Dolph Ziggler would fuck me if I was. Did born. you see this? Uh, police <laughs> police respond 
to fake bomb threats nationwide. Hmm. Wait, what? A wave of bomb threats led to panic and evacuations (laughs) in schools and hospitals across the country. Police and cities nationwide reported threats were either emailed or phoned in. All appeared to be hoaxes. Hmm. That's fucking terrible. Well, it's better they were all hoaxes, right? Like, if there were just random bombings happening everywhere, it sucks. But, oh, look at that little robot. The bomb-sniffing robot. Like, for all the robots that terminate YouTube channels and ruin people's lives, there are a couple good ones out there. Yeah, Johnny Five's cool, too. (laughs) Fuck yeah, Johnny Johnny Five five is alive. alive. (laughs) Especially punk rock Johnny Five. (laughs) They never made a sequel to that, did they? Or or was there a Short Circuit 2? Yeah. The Short Circuit 2 is where we're introduced to the evil Johnny Five, who's also like a 1980s East Village punk rock. See, I never watched that. I was like, wait. Was there a punk rock Johnny that, Five? Yep, there was. Because <laughs> he starts bleeding oil. And so oh. his like mental matrix goes crazy. He starts like assaulting criminals instead of just being friendly to them. And of course, when you go crazy, you go punk rock. That was the yeah, 80s. Exactly. Yep, yep. There was no oh, yeah. school shootings back then, so they had to address crazy as punk rock. <laughs> hey, was, oh. it, is it, was that Short Circuit 2? Yeah. Wait, or was it Short Circuit 3, Godless Engineer? Was there a three? They didn't make a three, I don't know. Oh. Then it was two. Case closed. (laughs) All right. Check this out. Senate uh, passes resolution to end U.S. involvement in Yemen war. I didn't even know we were involved. Are you sure they spelled semen wrong? Separate from the previous, but connected in a way, uh, the Senate has just voted to condemn the Saudi crown prince, the day-to-day ruler of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, Mm. to condemn him for this murder and it did so by unanimous consent so that's a it doesn't really carry any action with it but that's a sort of sense of the senate <laughs> thing there. Hold yeah up. Hold so up. it was it's like ceremonial basically just uh you know well, uh y- we're watching you you naughty boy well, no i mean I mean, I think that this does carry some kind of significance because, I mean, if you don't remember, Donald Trump was uh, pretty much making up excuses for the prince and, you know, cutting up another person um, and and killing him. And uh, so, I mean, the the Senate unanimously voting to to condemn the the war or whatnot that we had planned on. uh, I I don't know if we're still selling weapons to the Saudis for that war or what, but I guess not now. I mean, this. Huh? I uh, well I I guess well he said this changes nothing so I guess it doesn't matter so we are st- maybe we are still selling weapons to them yeah that Trump wasn't gonna yeah, stop yeah, selling we weapons he, he said uh, that was one of the most honest things I've seen Trump say he was like look we're doing a lot of business with the Saudis it's just we're not gonna we're not gonna end that I was like holy shit that was that was great he didn't even bother fucking trying to do the gymnastics to make it look like it was cool he's he just like no yeah, we're see, evil that's the fucking interesting thing about this like. Every other president has also bent over and kissed Saudi Arabia's ass. They just usually, like, fake it more on TV. They're like, we're very disappointed in the Saudis. Yeah. Oh, though they oh, how dare they? We will continue to, we will continue to sell them arms. Yeah. But these guys are b- bad news. Yeah. Tr- like, Trump is the first guy ever to be like, eh, fuck all this fake <laughs> bullshit. I'm just going to be a dick to other countries. <laughs> You like we're vibe. a dick to other countries. All of American history is like a it's a fucking parade of us being dick <laughs> to other countries. But we usually pretend we're not. No, we're the good guys. Cue up guys. the marching band. Uh unanimous. Yeah, like consent, how consent. many fucking banana republics did we overthrow in the 70s and 80s? All of them? <laughs> but it's just like eh. I remember Panama. Guys, Hulk Hogan. I remember Panama very well. Noriega. Yep. Panama. Isn't that what they played? Alarm sales didn't they? Did, North. Didn't they play that song? Like, didn't they play Panama like twenty four seven as loud as they could to like get them to leave their compound? I don't know about that, but I, I know heard they would play Barney over and over in Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me and if see. you don't believe me, Google that. Uh, I'm not kidding. Yeah, no, it's a legit form of torture to play a song over and over again. Uh, they, they do use that a lot. It's not. 
It's not just that passes a resolution it's not just condemning good songs the Saudi like Panama. Crown Prince. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't know what this means. Uh, I, I doubt that this is going to interrupt any business that anybody has. Somebody in the chat said, does this mean that Vince McMahon won't have Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia anymore? Probably not. I'll probably go back. Um, I, if he wasn't going to stop it for Khashoggi's killing, yeah. he's not going to stop it five years from now. Like, he has a 10-year deal with the Saudi Arabian yeah. government. Like, And I'm pretty sure that they have something to do with XFL as well. They're going to pump some of that. The, go go bring the football teams to compete in the stadiums because uh, why else would Vince bring back the XFL at this point in time right like it, it, it just makes sense he's about to sell football teams to the Saudis that yeah. makes a lot of fucking sense I mean I believe Saudi Arabia owns 10% of uh, of was it ICM uh, Saudi Arabia owns like 10% of one of the largest uh, uh, entertainment agencies in the world yeah uh Here's the, the story. Like, you know, it's money on money over there. Oh, apparently Saudi Arabia just bought a huge stake in Uber. You Ooh. know, it's uh, like everybody's kind of in too deep on this. Yeah, the Saudis are protected. They're made. So I guess they just played like... um, They had like a playlist of like American hard rock music. Panama was on it. Yeah, yeah. Fought the Law by The Clash. Where Where's the list? Oh, right Panama here. by Van Halen. You 2 is All I Want Is You. Bruce Cockburn's If I Had a Rocket Launcher. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> and they would just, like, blast the fuck out of them. Guns N' Roses. Um, Welcome to the Jungle, I think, is on there. Yeah, yeah. The Doors was on there? I actually... I'm gonna go to Spotify and listen to this fucking the, Manuel the, Noriega playlist on my drive home. Is it? Does it exist on Spotify? Is I, that what it, it says? It has to, right? If it doesn't, I'm going to start it and make so much fucking They just showed money. up and fished him out of wherever he was hiding with the loud-ass music. He, did he just not like loud music? Not that kind of music, I guess. Damn. Well, I mean, I don't know how long the standoff was, but I can imagine a few hours of that getting pretty old. What would your Noriega playlist be that would just get you to fucking out yourself to save your oh, ears? Oh, God, I don't even know. You have, oh, you have it would de it my mine would definitely have to be like any like metal CD just <laughs> just any metal CD played continuously that would definitely drive anybody insane. What about ICP? <laughs> <laughs> I could handle ICP. I could handle over that. and over and over again like it. super loud. Oh, dude, I I used to have this old Cadillac and my stereo broke with a fucking ICP EP stuck in it so it was no! six songs for three months I'd listen to the same six songs if I wanted music no it was so bad so so now imagine this you play in the ICP continuously and then at random times you launch like little clown dolls into wherever the fuck they are like right at the time when like it's one of the like clown laughs and you just get a, like a rain of clowns falling on you that would that would end up scaring some people i bet oh, you. a lot of people don't like clowns there's a lot of people that fear clowns and there's like a small handful of people that just want to fuck clowns yeah dude <laughs> like there's like clown fetishists out yeah. there Stereos, do you have a, a, a Noriega playlist that, that would get you to fucking flip? No, but I do have a Noriega skincare routine. <laughs> have you guys seen that guy's face? Looks like Oof. the goddamn surface of the moon. Get some proactive Manuel Noriega. Is it, is it safe to say that your taint and Manuel Noriega have a lot in common? They are the same <laughs> creature. <laughs> from... I, when I go to sleep, it wakes up and just starts going over at the Panamanian military. My, there's a junta that's got it out from my taint. They're playing fucking uh, Guns N' Roses right into your crotch right now. I know. It's blasting. I wish they used more roses and less guns. It burns down there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Maybe you're allergic it's like to it roses. It produces its own icy hot. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful down there. <laughs> oh. We'll get into the uh, super chats and stuff 
Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, right? yeah. We'll do that in just They're a coming, second. Guys. Yeah. Glenderson. Actually, before I before I move on to the super chats and the streamlabs and everything, I, I I don't know if you two guys knew this, but Billy the Fridge was actually a member of ICP at one point. <sighs> Did you know that? That's well, yeah, more, that's man, that's, that's that's why he's defending them right now. And be like, yeah, I'd rather listen to them. Like, that's good. It's because and he did this video, right? <laughs> yeah. What's uh oh? <laughs> Lock up your daughters. It's Billy the Fridge, Ronald McFondle, and J.P. Oh Rock shit! Over a martini beat. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, y'all better call nine one one. Not fucking. Call 911, cause we're about to fly a plane into this motherfucker. Wrestling champion, the neighborhood stranger. Pretty please picture me a Mickey D's doppelganger. It's a ball pit banger, let your nuts hang. Happy meals for a double sided for a butt bang. Ben, stop. Ben, stop. What? It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> Is that a dildo nunchuck? I think, <laughs> dildo nunchuck. I think it's a balloon animal. Look at it. It looks like, it looks like it's like one of those double ended dildos, but he like... I don't know. He's like fucking Michelangelo and in, in you know the secret <laughs> of the ooze. <laughs> He's Michelangelo. Michelangelo's I mean, David. This is a masterpiece. That's a picture of my taint. <laughs> you get in your video. Oh yeah, most disliked video on YouTube right here. No, no. Go on a ride a slut train, muscled on an upper lip next to a cum stain. It's a fun game. <laughs> look at, look at this. This is in your music video. There's a clown with a woman's vagina. That's at the lusty lady in Seattle, Washington. Just above his head. He, she's pressed up against the glass. He's in the booth. That was a very sweet history there. This history lesson. Look, I'm not proud of it, okay? But it's something that happened, and I moved on. I'm proud of who I am today. All right. I'm a Are survivor. You, proud that you didn't catch like some kind of STD from this shoot. I don't know. I think. Sweet till the pig squeal, twist her, fist her, blow like a pen wheel. When I think of your daughter, I shower in cold water. Spin her on my finger like a Harlem Globetrotter. Oh, bother, I'm like poo in a honey pot. Do her where she poo, then I am with the money shot. Funny thought, she gon' spin like a pinwheel. Rolling with McFondo, yo, you know it's a big deal. Get real. Nah, baby, get the plunger. At the buddy starts at the Mickey D's dumpster. Get the Hella. Oh shit! Hold on. We need we need uh, a what, screen. We, what yeah, we, <laughs> of that right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Billy, what happened to that like petrified donut? He still has it. Yeah, I still oh, okay. I still held on to it. I just don't wear it as much anymore because it, it's heavy. It is heavy. It's heavy. You could you could fuck somebody up. Well, I mean, with the chain alone, the yeah. chain is all big and heavy. Yeah, I've I've had it denied at like uh, clubs Disneyland. And stuff. Disneyland. We I had Disneyland we we both got denied it. entrance to Disneyland because I had weed and he had a fucking his donut, donut chain thing. Yeah, Mickey was not a fan. <laughs> so, well, I love this. What do you love? I want people to caption this for me. This is this is your homework for the night, guys. I disagree. Don't caption do this. this and circulate this around <laughs> Twitter tonight, not, please. Not, I, don't, I, don't I need it. That. I need it. Make it an early birthday present or Christmas present. Yeah, do that. <sighs> yes, please. I need this. And tag Billy the Fridge in don't, it. Don't please don't. There make it go. make it a early make it a late Hanukkah present for me that you don't Hella have. awkward Put you on my fist, twist you like a helicopter. Tell the doctor if you start to get dizzy. Just don't interrupt me when I start to get busy. Oh yeah. What, what was that little move there, Billy? Yeah, yeah, I love that. I, I know, love I'm that. that. Was it those, Dude, those, those I, little hula hoop? I'll moves? tell you what. Hold on. I'm gonna put it in slow motion. Here we go. Oh, no. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's uh, it's a great song. I love it. 
What? Was it fun? Was it fun to shoot that? <laughs> yeah, I had a good time. I had a real good time. <laughs> I mean, you look like you're having a pretty good Yeah, time. I mean, like... I mean, you're like hula hooping and everything in this shit. Yeah, little hula hoop, little pinwheel. He's yeah. got the ladies in the bikinis rubbing their asses on him. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Yeah, I know. Just, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh-oh. It's the G-Man. Why does he always start off his videos by sucking on dick? Oh, <laughs> shit. And you know what? I, I'm sorry. I got to read this shit. Let me go back oh, to oh, the beginning. Oh. 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 Billy, buy a cheap DVD player off Craigslist to see what's on the disc. DVD players can play the audio off a CD. They, they really want to know what's on that I disc. I know. I should just get an old laptop. Dude, that shit was creepy. I'm glad that's not here anymore. Yeah. Uh, Fidel Castro gave us three British pounds, which is weird that Castro's giving us British money, but whatever. Nice job on the weight loss, Billy. Saw your Facebook post. Bet your dick gets a little bit bigger every week. Probably. Probably not, probably not every week. Okay. <laughs> There's definitely some hog. There's some hog meat that, that was found. Uh hypothesis five dollars you see the sonic movie teaser it makes sonic sonic booms character designs look good dude how does more importantly how does chris chan feel about uh <laughs> the new sonic character we should set up a premiere with chris chan in he the has theater. blue arms too we should, i love that we should pay chris chan to have a, a premiere with us we can watch it with chris chan that would be cute uh, what else do we got here? Uh, Dragon in the West. This guy is a closeted weeb. Also, Ben Ronma is freaking awesome. Would you fail? <laughs> would Would you fall into the spring which Ronma <laughs> fell into, uh, giving it a chance? Anyway, here's some money to make your season right thank you no i would not <laughs> fall into the the spring that turns me into a woman every time i get hit with uh cold water which is what happens in ranma ranma's like uh like a kung fu master but he fell into a cursed spring him and his father were battling above these cursed pools of water and they both hit each other at the same time. He fell into the cursed spring of Drowned Girl. His father fell into the cursed spring of Drowned Panda. So now every time they get hit with cold water, he turns into a girl with huge tits. And it, uh, his father turns into a big fucking panda. This is awesome. And uh, the only way to change back is he has to heat up water and pour like hot, like like hot water on himself to turn back into a man again. This sounds so stupid. I want to watch it. It's like a, a, I think it's a late eighties. Uh, it, it came out in the late eighties in Japan and the early nineties in the U.S. Huh. And it's pretty crazy because he hides the fact that he's actually the 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 chick with the big tits from like most people. Like everyone, it's funny because all the dudes that want to fuck female Ranma want to kill male Ranma. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of a weird thing. And then there's other people that, uh, oh yeah, people are like, oh anime. Yeah, it's like the one anime I've watched a lot of. It was crazy when I was high. Like there was nothing like that, nothing else like that out there. And I was like, hey, this dude's got big tits. Uh, and that's the just what happens in Ranma one half. Yeah, yeah. Imagine what happens in Ranma one. Yeah, I mean, he gets a real big dong. <laughs> <laughs> Ranma Burgundy. Uh oh, dude. Um, I love anime and wrestling. Sean Stack said that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because they're both great. They're also both the same exact thing. Like, yeah, Dragon like Ball Z villains and like Im and like impossibly good heroes. Dragon Ball Z is wrestling. It's the exact yes. same thing. Guys cutting promos on each other for like ten episodes, and then there's a fight. <laughs> yep. Um, Aldrich. Uh, 
Godless Engineer, don't be afraid to speak up. You'll fit in just fine. That's what, uh, I think it's Adrich, Ad, or, or Arditch. Arditch. Sorry, I read that <laughs> totally wrong. I'm retarded. Um, Tucker White, 94, gave $4.20. Here's free money, fucking scammers. Thank you. Glad to scam you. Brennan, $10. Oh, Billy, it says, I hate... Here, uh... Uh, maybe I can display. I, I I think this one's for you to read. Oh no no, it's not going to show up. Ha ha! I can't read it. I really can't. Good. It's uh, it's bad. Yeah. Well, thank you for your money, guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like I hate Nick. No. I curves. think we know what the second part of this is going <laughs> to sound like. <laughs> I'm yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Thanks for your contribution. And it says it four times. What the fuck? Hypothesis five dollars. Cena seems to have a history of stealing Dolph's girlfriends, Nikki Bella, Amy what? Schumer, etc. Well, the, he just named off two girls that Cena stole from Dolph. Dude, CM Punk's the one that has the history of stealing people's girlfriends. <laughs> CM Punk and Edge are like yeah. Eskimo Bros times four. Yeah. What the fuck? Egghead wants me to check Twitter. I guess I will. Uh, Cunty Cat, $4. Insane Fridge Posse. I, I disagree. I like that. <laughs> I disagree. Uh, Billy, I'd let you dickster my butt like a hot soup. Cunty Cat said that Dick for $5. Stir? Yeah. Like stir it like like a Yeah, stir it with your dick. Can I use my balls as like a ladle? Skeptical Jesus $5 today is my birthday. You should say you should be sending me the monies. Yeah, happy birthday, Skep. All right, I'm going to check Twitter and see what's going on with this Twitter. Right? Oh, the g -manity. I'll play g -man now. Everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. He always says, ah, before Preaching, preaching to the Choir to the, uh, Ministries. Choir. Every time. For another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Every Ministries. Every time. The Bible says that in the light of time, some are going to depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 says that. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse what? 3 says that before the man of sin is revealed, that there will be a falling away. That will happen before the man of sin is revealed. Um, if we go to <laughs> Second Timothy chapter three, this is how it reads. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. This will be the I mean his his connection is so bad. I'm wondering, like, should I even keep watching him? Yeah, let's just fuck off on G-Man right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, I'm this done is, with G-Man. Yeah, what, what you guys say? Does, does uh, lover of themselves, does that mean just they masturbate a lot? Because, yeah, I mean, I don't know. People, people have been jerking off for a while now, I think. Forever. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you laughing about, Ben? <laughs> what you laughing about there, Benjamin? <laughs> oh. Oh my god it's so funny there ben do you see the shit on twitter no i didn't look is it is it gross can we pull it up on the screen uh yeah shit's moving a little slow for me right now but i'll did grab. someone tag me in it oh you know, it's egghead egghead's one of, you said ooh, it's egghead billy's mind so that's what that looks like oh a vagina funny <laughs> funny Call 911 because we're about to fly a plane into this motherfucker, <laughs> Billy the Fridge. Thank you for that, Lord Magicus. Virgin <laughs> seeing pussy for the first time, 2018, <laughs> colorized. Thank you for that, Tech. Uh, you guys are. You guys, you guys are, are all, great. You guys are all sour boys. What do you mean? It's not a sweet boy thing to make fun of a little Bill. That's that younger me, man. He had dreams and aspirations. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I can see by the look on your face. Things changed. Now I'm dead inside. I look away from the vagina now. <laughs> I love the look on your face. <clears throat> I love this shit. It's beautiful. You're you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful. It's true. true. Okay. I love it. Can we moving? What? 
Yeah. I think our goal is covering <laughs> part of that there. Virgin seeing pussy for the first time 2018 <laughs> colorized for yeah. those wondering <laughs> for those listening via Spotify Ben's just playing pictures of me staring at a woman's <laughs> vagina. Uh, some for some reason people think it's funny. I, I I don't get it. I think I think they're picking on an obviously autistic boy. Are you autistic? Uh, I must have been back then. Why the fuck was I in a it's, video? It with goes a clown? away. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know it what I was away. thinking. I, I don't, don't know. I don't think that's how that works. Guys. Yeah, I don't think it goes away. I, I think you keep it forever. Are you sure if you lose yeah. weight, you don't lose the tism? <laughs> I know you can get rid of type it's 2 diabetes your, it's that stored way. stored in your fat cells. I, in my, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's watch something else. Uh, what is... Um, God, there's so much to choose from, but I... Hold on, let's see what this is. Oh, God. Oh, oh he's got the Good Santa morning. hat on. And Merry Christmas. Well, it will soon be time for Santa to make his rounds. And, uh... Wait, I don't see that time that Santa... You can't see it? Oh, wait, oh, hold on. I think my Skype might have stopped. Oh, on YouTube, I see a giant terrifying man. Yeah, yeah. Is your Skype okay? Is it? Is it not? Uh, am I still moving on your? Yeah, you are. Yeah. All right, that's fine. For some reason, my is, Skype is frozen. You want to reshare? Is Santa the... taking a shit while he's recording a video? That's is that what what's it... going on. Is that is that what is going on here? I think he is multitasking. And I'll yeah. tell you what. And I'll tell you what. He lives in Japan, and I can see all the buttons and stuff. So that that leads me to believe that he is in Japan because they've got all kinds of weird buttons for weird shit in their bathrooms. They oh, been... you, you know. Uh, I've I've been to Japan uh, for about a week, and yeah, they've got like a, like a built-in bidet in in toilets out there. So you know you could just flick on uh, flick a switch, and you know water will shoot up your ass. Yeah, I mean like most traditional bidets are more just like bathtubs for your butt. But yeah, the Japanese toilets actually like squirt. Like I, I've been to Italy where they have like the old school bidets next to the toilets there, and that's just like a bathtub for your butt. Like you just kind of wash your butt <laughs> in it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the, the those Japanese toilets. Uh, Jeff Holiday had uh, an Airbnb for VidCon that we were like oh hanging out God. at, and that that they had a Japanese toilet in that Airbnb. They had it had a heated seat. It played the music for the ladies who don't want people to hear them piss. Yeah, it was amazing. all that kind of weird shit. I drank from it. Oh, you did? You let I it squirt you in I the had mouth? To. I had to taste it. That's another anime people should watch is Golden Boy. Um. <laughs> Uh, Golden Boy is a is like a, a a weird anime. Like there's a there's a scene where a guy is like hugging a toilet and it like squirts in his mouth and he's drinking it and shit. It reminds that Wait, that's what. There's piss humor in an anime called Golden Boy. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I think people should have a bidet. Like, would you just take a dry piece of paper and wipe your dishes clean? No. Why do the same with your butthole? Like, fucking wash that shit out. Well, it's the thing, right? Like, I'm not putting my butthole in my mouth, but I'm putting the food off You that might plate be putting in it mouth. in someone's mouth. Yeah, but that's their mouth. <laughs> I'll, I'll straight up take a dirty plate and wa wash it off with a paper towel, then feed somebody with it. I'm a fucking asshole. I don't care about your cleanliness. I care about mine. I'll drop a fucking steak on the ground, pick that bitch up, put it on the plate, be like, this is your steak. Ben just blew weed smoke directly in my face. I've asked him not to like a hundred times. And, and he caught himself doing it as he was doing it. And he's like, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for that weed bukkake. Hold on. I'm going to skip. Oh, no, no. I don't even want to watch this either. Let me find a good. Oh. This new intro kind of pisses me off because the music is fast. It's great. I love it. How can I hate him after such a fucking intro? Child Protection Services. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> Child Protection Services. Who could possibly argue against a government? He's got that, He's got that weird on. carpal tunnel uh, wrist protector now. Yeah. 
No, I don't think that's from Carpal Tunnel. I think he's been, you know, jerking it off to the gay porn sites. That's why he has Carpal Tunnel. That's probably what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like his uh, guard for shooting a bow and arrow, and he just wears it because he thinks it makes him look more manly. He's that much of a manly. He's like he's like Ted Nugent, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just got done shooting the bow and arrow. I had to come in record fucking podcast CPS. (laughs) Okay, mild Bill. Agency whose mission is to save children from child abuse. Sounds good. Until you find out that the most militant liberals in America <laughs> are running the operation <laughs> and they have turned child protection services into a weapon that destroys good families and promotes the worst possible child abuse. Being liberals, they are guilty of gross exaggeration. Gross. They claim that one in four children are abused in their home. That is a liberal lie. I was an American lawman for 20 years, and I saw these people in action. They operate anecdotal by essentially kidnapping children. Often their only information is an anonymous report, and the liberal child savers swoop in and take the... But there's a real report, and it has to go before the law. It's not just... They don't just listen. It's not like YouTube where anyone can file a DMCA and get someone's video taken down. And you do it's not have like to, that. You do have to kind of be fucking up somewhere for them to take your kids away, right? Like they, they, um, if they walk in and yeah. everything's fine, they're not going to be like, "Okay, kids are coming with us. We know you're hiding some drugs somewhere in in this in this child's backpack, backpack, little little, co- <laughs> little child." with no credible evidence that any real abuse has taken place. Parents send their kids off to school thinking everything is fine, and bam, their children never come home. The public schools simply hand the children over. Now, the kidnapped children, of course, are scared to death, and they're often told things like, we know your father's been abusing you, and you're not going home until you admit it. Of course, the terrified children, desperately wanting mommy and daddy, will eventually say anything to get back to their parents. And then the child's coerced statement is used to have dad charged with a crime that never occurred. In Colorado, children have been seized from their (laughs) home for things like the parents refusing to allow their kids to dress like their school peers. One girl was taken because the parents wouldn't allow her to watch TV after 10 p.m. Well, the parents... We're kind of fucking up there, right? Like, let that kid watch 10 p.m. TV shows. They're the better shows. The shit before 10 p.m. sucks. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, I mean, I like, I I really am doubting all of this anecdotal shit that he's throwing out here because he's not actually citing like any kind of information. Like, you know, he said that the one in four kids being abused is a bullshit statistic. Okay. Well, could you please offer like a counter thing that explains why this statistic is wrong? Because I mean, that's what you would need to actually convince somebody, not just some redneck asshole in some kind of biker vest hanging out and being like, like, yeah, you know, all that's bullshit. It's like, that's not how you convince people. But Get actual fucking empirical evidence to say that this shit is wrong. It should be easy, that's, right? Like, that's it should the be big, easy. That's the big secret of uh, skeptic communities or uh, political communities, commentary communities on YouTube. The big secret is they don't want to convince anybody of something they don't already believe. It's it's a it's a tunnel, right? It's a, it's a, it's a fucking... Uh, tunnel vision they want to they want to just tell everybody that what they believe is right so their, their fan bases are just being re or the, it's reaffirmation that the, the, yeah we know we were right he's telling it like like we we, we said all along you know the, the fathers need to have more control over their kids they're just taking kids away because they don't put them to bed before 10 and let them stay up watch csi miami like it's it's it's, it's he doesn't, he doesn't want to change anybody's mind. He just wants everybody that thinks like him to follow him because they're like, yeah, actually, he says what I say. That's cool. I got to give him kudos on the setup grade, though. That light bulb was a little much, though. Well, and his mic cover. What the fuck is that? That's not even a cover. I think that's painted that way. And then in a nightmare scenario, a man. Cro- it looks like a rocket pop. All through a little girl's bedroom window and sexually assaulted her. Daddy caught the guy beat the daylights out of him and held him for the police. Now that should have been the end of the story, but the liberal child savers seized that little girl saying that her parents were unfit. The liberal child savers in their home. What a great label. They fought a two year legal battle to get their little girl back. 
As a deputy sheriff, I personally went with two child protection workers to investigate one of those anonymous complaints of child abuse. The parents and the little girl were standing right there in front of us, and they gave a credible denial. Do you think he got kicked out of the park? <laughs> Finally, because he made he used to make most of his videos in a park like that was on the coast and the ocean was always behind him and the beach and everything. I think he got some of that. And he's like, oh, shit, better build a set. It's nice looking. I will. I mean, it looks nice. Everything looks pretty nice. I think me. he got some of that Soros money. Oh, shit. He's secretly funded by Soros. Soros money. The Bilderbergs. The Bilderbergs. There Coke was Brothers. no reason to believe that anything was amiss. But the child savers demanded to be let in the house to investigate, and the father said, no, if you want to come in our house, you'll need a warrant. And believe it or not, the child saver said, we're child protection services. The Constitution doesn't apply to us. Well, as an American... Okay. Oh, shit. I like yeah, how he proof used, that was said. I like how he used the, the rainbow handprint, too. Just to make them look extra yeah. fucking they're funny. They're gay. They're child molested. You know, yeah. look at him. Look at him. Look at the madness in his eyes. You know what? Someone should Photoshop Wild Bill with this look on his face with Billy, uh, him and Billy no. together. No. Looking at the like vagina uh, no. in the glass. Look. <laughs> If you're going to Photoshop what? this what? with me, then have it be my what? face on that guy's head what? while he's holding Wild Bill as Danny as the puppet. What? 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 I think this will work. Danny the puppet. What? You guys will both, like, together, it'll it'll add some extra effect to I don't see like it. both of you together. No, because there would never be a show with You guys giving each other it. handies? Nope. I'm not, ha I'm not giving him a handy. <laughs> What? There would never be a show with what? two bills on it. It doesn't make sense. In law, man, I'm not going to stand by for that. I stepped in front of that CPS worker and inform, informed her in no uncertain terms that the Constitution <laughs> definitely applies to her and all child protection workers. And I further informed her that when Dad says she's not coming in without a warrant, she's not going in. I then Ooh. recommended to the parents that they immediately take the little girl to her pediatrician and tell the doctor what's going on and have the doctor do a thorough well-being exam. Oh, God. Also warned the parents about Did he say well-being? school until this matter yeah. is settled. And I do believe that was the last time CPS ever called me to go with them. Now, one major problem with child protection services is that their budget is based on how many cases they make. The more children so are the they police. See, the more money they get. <laughs> I mean, like, the police have a quota like that, too. That's why at the end of the month, they hand out way more speeding tickets and seatbelt violations and all that sort of thing. And that's why FEMA spends so much money on those little coffins that sit in a fucking uh, warehouse that what? everybody says is the, the death camps. They're the death camps. No, they're just trying to meet their quota of uh, purchasing power so they can get the same budget next year around. Hey, what could possibly go wrong there? Is he and Bubsy? The most insidious development today is that many states are declaring, quote, religious, excessive religiosity to be child abuse. And excessive religiosity is defined as parents teaching their children about traditional biblical marriage. No, it's not. Christian parents who refuse to. No. No, th that that would that would be like those fucks out in California that like kept ten of their kids locked up in the basement, and one of them was was so mentally challenged that yeah they, they could they could not even function, and I mean that's the extreme religiosity that's being it's not it's not <laughs> telling people that it's okay for two women and two men right. to marry. Right, it's like it's the not, it's like the fringe sect of mormons that that do like child marriages and shit like that yeah you know like there 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 are still like fringe mormons that are not latter-day saints that still do like polygamy and child marriage oh, and yeah. all that weird shit the compounds yeah we just busted what warren jeff's about a decade ago Still, it's still out there, man. Well, that's why uh, that's why um, a lot of Mormons lived in Mexico, and that's why Mitt Romney's dad was born in Mexico because of all that. Because okay, of all the wives, uh, Mitt Romney's <laughs> father or Mitt, Mitt Romney's uh, grandfather had a bunch of wives in Mexico, and that's why Mitt Romney's father was born in Mexico. I like polygamy. I think it's as long polygamy as uh, among consenting adults i personally don't have a problem with if, if they're all like, like literally it. okay i with like it. it if it's consenting adults I, I say go for it 
I would be a polygamist if I could get eight women to fucking marry me, and I wouldn't even want them to fuck me. They could all be lesbians. <laughs> There'd be a lot of issues, though. Submit to the homosexual, all, all those different personalities are in danger of having their children kidnapped by the liberal child protection workers. And to make matters worse, the fad is to place the seized children into the custody of homosexual couples. <laughs> child protection services, something that started that out as a good fad that's sweeping the nation, <laughs> stealing kids and giving them to gay. God uh, hates it's, fads. It's the Rubik's Cube, the slap bracelet, and stealing <laughs> Christian kids and giving them to gay couples. Yep, but you I know, did. Th this feels like uh, like a, like we're in a seminar to that's like just a fear mongering session, and he's like up there on stage, like in the CPS, they steal your kids and give them to the gays. <laughs> I mean, let them have the kids. I think that's karma right there. Y'all fuck around, didn't want your kids to grow up to be gay. Now they're you can't raise your kids, and the gays are raising them. Fuck off. It's the, it's new America. I think everybody should have like a summer camp where they just go and live with a gay couple for three what? months. No. Yeah, every kid should have to go live with a gay couple for three months. Dude, people like you are give credence to Wild Bill. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, I can't believe you threatened the credibility of someone named <laughs> Wild Bill. I mean, that makes no sense to me. Yeah. Did, Has did anybody else... else no Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead, please. I was going to say, did anybody else notice how his microphone is decked out in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said that. It, look, it looks like a rocket pop. It's like a <laughs> popsicle I used to get from popsicle. the ice cream man when I was a kid. A delicious popsicle with three different flavors. Yep. Blue, white, yeah. and red. Blue, white, and red Those flavor. Are my favorite flavors. Idea has been completely overrun by militant, godless liberals who use it like a weapon to push their liberal politics on America. Now, the best defense against weaponized CPS is the sheriff's office. Every county should ensure that the elected sheriff will defend their family's Fourth Amendment rights. If CPS ever knocks on the door, the parents should say, wait right there while I call the sheriff. This is Wild Bill for America, blowing the whistle on yet another out-of-control government agency. Thank you for watching, and America... Bless God, God again. once again. <laughs> he sped up the tempo of his song. I, uh, you know what? I give him credit. He did, he did some production upgrades. You know, I don't like Wild Bill, but hey, kudos to you, Wild Bill. Hey, uh, really quick, before we get on to anything else, guys, please like the, scr the stream. Please subscribe. If you uh, double check, make sure you're still subscribed. Turn on notifications, all that good shit. We could use the help right now. Also, please become a patron. Check out the private show. Billy, let's have an honest conversation, buddy. Buddy. Yeah, we're at seventy five percent of our goal right now, uh -huh. and that we we already have a bonus show that we're doing this Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. But this is the goal that we see up on the screen right now. This goal is for next Saturday's yeah. bonus show. If we reach this goal. We'll have another bonus show. It'll be like the seventh or eighth bonus so show. So how row. much to for you to zap yourself? At six, <laughs> at sixty percent. At sixty percent. Sixty percent. I did sixty-two percent yesterday. For for someone to finish off uh, the goal. Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay, here's the deal. It's seven eighteen p.m. Yeah. Put it on already, though. Just as a at showing that you're serious about it. See, uh, it, it has these two big metal contacts on it. And, and they were like, oh, yeah, you could test it by lighting a light bulb. And the, this weird testing thing that came with it. Uh, and, and you could, like, light the light. <laughs> it's like a science experiment. The light bulb lights up from the, the uh, electric charge from the two contacts. Basically, it just has a wire in it that connects it uh, to the light bulb. I'll give myself a zap if we meet the goal tonight. Okay. All right, if here, we meet the goal, here you right? go. Here you go. Put it on just to show you're serious about it. Take off your pants, then. Huh? What? You just tell but me to do something. You just tell me to do something. But put on the electrified dog collar. <laughs> but, <laughs> but here's the thing: if I take off my pants, only he will see it. Yep. 
He is the only one. Everyone else. He can paint us a word picture. He's a poet. Whoa. Yeah. And he, I'll tell you what, he can draw some dirty pictures. You've seen Pinwheel, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you mean the ancient kid show Pinwheel? Yes. The the ancient wait fuck you pinwheel give me the thing pinwheel spinning the around <laughs> look at my <laughs> pinwheel <laughs> and <laughs> see what <laughs> I found pinwheel pinwheel spinning <laughs> around I can feel it I can feel it shaking <sighs> so he's setting it up. You want to show everybody the little screen? I have it set to 60. Yep. If we reach the goal, I'll give myself a little fucking toot. If not, a I'm toot. not going to give myself a little toot. You're going to poop toot. yourself. A little, little, little chunk. Yeah. Got a little chunky one about to squeeze out. <laughs> <sighs> oh, check this out. Now, let's talk about rape culture. Now, this is where it gets deep. <sighs> Aquaba, y'all. So, a lot of people always ask me, Ghazi, what do you think about interracial relationships and all these kinds of things and da da da? Let's talk about black rape culture. Okay. Um,. I'm an African internationalist, so I see the world as understanding that this entire world around me is built off of colonialism and parasitic capitalism in the form of white power, right? And we're about to get, we're about to go there. Go there, drink your fucking orange juice, sip cup. Tag your interracial friends. Tag your friends that are dating white people. Okay, Tag so me. I'm an African Stereo internationalist. I'm both. <laughs> this meaning that I'm a materialist Bingo. and I understand that this entire base um, of our reality is built off of colonialism, the attack on Africa, right? Okay. In prison, with that being said, in prison, if a correctional officer and a prisoner, you know, have sexual relationships, I've been enjoying it this is free content for two Oh, months. shit! And Billy. Oh, Billy God. Billy got a zap. Billy got a zap. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me Timo. Let me. I want to. I want to thank you for uh, your contribution to the show. And uh, the only way I know how to thank you <laughs> is by zapping yourself. Three, two, one. One. It didn't go. Is it? Is it not set right? I don't know. Now I have to go through the count. Let me let me see. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to press it again. Is the little lightning bolt on? Yeah. And what? Are what you it, feeling electrocuted? No. Try it again. Try it. Oh God. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the good stuff, right? Yeah. There. What the hell? That's. It's a good thing I'm not wearing pants right now because that <laughs> has a lot of buttons. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad somebody didn't have pants on. Ben, Ben's wearing a Goku T-shirt. No, it's Vegeta. Oh, I don't know. That's that's how non-tistic I am. People like anime. Autistic people like anime. Anime. Oh man. All right, I have to do it. Off now. I think I'm required to. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <laughs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right, so uh, we, we've got a classic Brett Keen moment tonight. Actually, he's defending your, your buddy, who you think is a sweet boy. Which one? Ornision. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. O Onision. Oh. 
Because Brett Keen is an early uh, day uh, Onision sympathizer. Did you know that? Oh. Before you. I got a question for Billy the Fridge. I know your buddies with Onision. Did you know I knew Onision before you ever did? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is hardcore. This is fucking ridiculous. This is like Von Helton with his Punisher thing. Yeah, this is the Terminator Dude. here. I mean, who directed this intro? Fucking Michael Bay or some shit? I'll be mac and cheese. Oh, my God. Just oh. wait. Just wait. He's going to make videos soon. He'll be like, Rug, Gordless Engineers, Mike and Fonaboy. And I'll stop it at Knock Nose. Knock and Knock and Nose. Mike and Fonaboy. You can comment on my videos. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was like, I noticed you subscribed to me. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> Magisterious Coconuts, Mike and Fonaboy. <laughs> Insult the shit out of me on the Piss out of me at the same fucking time. It's gross. That fucking Gagarios Red Coconuts. <laughs> Bring it. You know where to find me, creep. My name is Brett Keen from the YouTube channel Brett Keen Hollywood. Hey, Mr. Repsian. Hey, Frost Review. I must destroy I must all in some guy 827. I wonder, is that 827 a police number? You know, those police codes whenever someone gets <laughs> murdered or mugged or whatever. I could have swore I heard that somewhere. I could be wrong. So what? Kind of swore. Yeah, those codes. I two I two sevens the code for like one of those codes for like chili with no cheese. But, but put the cheese on door. Where some guy a two seven? We've got an a two seven here on the phone. <laughs> well, besides all that goofy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So I watched a video. What? By some guy eight two seven. I've already talked about this particular video where he makes oh, a this particular situation. I think eight two seven. 827 is the number he of loves, times Brett Kane's going to say some guy 827. He loves the words particular, situation, and individuals. <laughs> Those are like his, his, his... I mean, I have my crutch words, too. Yeah. But his are great particular situation with these individuals. And they're just sitting there. At least his crutch words well are racial slurs, Benjamin. Christians are sitting there as well as Muslims are sitting there as well as pagans are sitting there and Jews are sitting there. All these accusations to Mr. Repsia. So after watching the video, I of course went over and I watched Mr. Repsia. I used to watch Mr. Repsia's videos in the past whenever he was doing his videos about Onesian. And also some guy, 827, is even worse than Mr. Repsia whenever it comes to doing videos of attacking the user Onesian. <clears throat> but one thing I discovered about Mr. Repsian before I get into the Frost review and all that is he's got balls. The kid's got <laughs> Oh, really? The kid's got some huevos. Mr. Repsian uh, cannot arm wrestle, though. He's got balls, not muscles. <laughs> It's testicular fortitude. Courage. He doesn't put a bag on his head. He doesn't wear some Dollar General mask. He actually puts his face right on the screen. There's a fucking it. He would always say, Brand, a fucking idiot that looks like Rey Mysterio. <laughs> that Rey Mysterio looking asshole. <laughs> And he tells you about some of the deepest, darkest pain and secrets about himself that a lot of these other people cannot do. He's not a character. He's an actual person who will share with you whenever he's in pain or whenever he's happy. He's also done charity drives and all that, which is pretty amazing. I remember asking him quite a few times, if you're a non-believer, then why bother wasting your time doing any kind of good for a world that's going to end up dying anyway with all people? <laughs> well, um, even if you are a believer, isn't the whole belief that the world's going to die anyways? Like, yeah, well, the world will die. Isn't the belief that when you die, you go to a better place? So why care about the world here? Because you gotta yeah. make you gotta make uh, your I points. Agree. You gotta get your points in. You gotta get your good boy points in, so you can get to fucking heaven. Is that is that why you donate? I feel like if well, you only okay, so yeah. So I think what you gotta do is you gotta put in enough time sucking Jesus dick 
in order to get through heaven. So like you get up to heaven and Jesus is checking off how much time you've sucked his dick. And if it's not enough, if it doesn't meet the quota, then you, you go to hell. Like, but Jesus, I, I know, I know you nut twice. How can I not get in heaven? You nutted twice. <laughs> and Jesus like, nope, you didn't swallow. Go to hell. <laughs> Going to a non-existent place because there is no heaven or hell. See, Mr. Epstein used to be a believer. So he used to believe that there was a reason and purpose for doing good. But now that he's an atheist and the universe is going to grow cold and die anyway, why bother? I love the... There are so many great remixes of Brett <laughs> out there. Like uh, w this one. Hello, gentlemen and gentlemen. My name is God from Brett Keen Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. And when you get an opportunity, check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. <laughs> Today at 7 p.m. Central. My time. I'm going to be having a show <laughs> that is simply and only going to be about my gaming channel, Games You Love. People can come <laughs> in and ask me questions about Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> But I pretty much just want to talk about my gaming channel, Games You Love. I don't know if many of you know this, although I refer to myself as a homosexual, transgender, lesbian. This was taken out of context. I believe that the Bible teaches me in the book of Brokeback Mountain that if people that do book? bad things or people do bad things, I support people's rights to do what they want to. I support people's rights to do what they want to. <laughs> Here's another one. Brett Keen eats chili. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh God. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel. Games you love. Games you love. And when you get an opportunity, check out all my other YouTube channels, including my brothers and my new movies you love channel. Mm mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. My beautiful wife, she made me a fantastic bowl of chili. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> no cheese. No cheese. That bitch. She <laughs> don't let me cheese. That fucking disgusting. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I was. I was watching. Oh, oh. I, I was watching a Brett Keen video oh. the other night, as we all do. He Oh. And D Doran walked in with some delicious glazed tenders from McDonald's. And when she handed them to him, he was very sweet to her. He said, thank you, baby. And he gave her a little, like, like little, little affections. He's like, he's like, I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to come out and, and I'm going to smoke a cigarette with you. How would you like that? And she, he's like, yeah, you like that, baby. He was a very sweet boy. Say what you want about Brett Keane, but he's, he could be a sweet boy to, to Doran when she bring him chicken tendies. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> here's, a, here's another one. What? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Some Asshole. Make sure you check out my gaming channel. <laughs> Some Game Asshole 827. Then after you guys do that, and before that, check out my new movies you love, where I, of course, talk about, guess what? Movies. <laughs> when you get an opportunity, check out my brother's dance. <laughs> I think that you'll enjoy it. My beautiful wife. She made me a fantastic bowl of chili. <laughs> so, like, is he just perpetually laying down, like, in the bed yeah, or something? Yeah, on or his like belly. He films his videos in bed laying on his belly. I do think, like, a good YouTube channel idea would be just finding people who well, are... Gosh, what? What? Belly in the fridge. You're a pedophile situation. Prove it. Yeah, Prove it. Well. I'll prove it right now because I it. found a comment somewhere. Prove it. Manatee228 says that you're a pedophile <laughs> situation. Prove it. And you like to fuck little kids. Prove so it. you're a disgusting piece of shit. Prove it. Um, so I think it would be a good YouTube channel idea if you found videos of people eating and talking about things, but just cut out all the talking. So it was just them eating yeah. in between. That'd be a fucking great channel. I'd watch the shit out of that. I'd subscribe to that. You'd watch that because you're disgusting. True. It's terrible. Uh, <clears throat> well, somebody... <clears throat> somebody ended up fucking me. <laughs> the reason why I prefer 
raping your wife and children. Whoa. And insult the living hell out of them. This has to be taken out of context. It's a way to be able to communicate with people. <laughs> you can actually get up on video and attempt to take on the particular Brett Keen situation. <laughs> I can't as an individual. Sorry. Sorry, individual. Up Such until then, individual. like the camera was perfectly lined up through all the shots, different lighting, different like looks, obviously. But then they're just like poof, right to the right to the piece. I like I like how jarring it is to see him actually sitting upright, like in one thing, and then it cuts back to him, like you know, laying on his belly. Yeah, here <laughs> I I don't think I, I think he's laying on his belly here. He is not sitting up. Uh, no, no, not right the, here, the other clip the he was other sitting one up in, in the white shirt, like yeah. it, 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 it had just switched back to it. You it know, looked like he was sitting up, like actually on a chair. You know, he claims he's like five, or uh, he claims he's like six foot five or six foot six or something. Pounds? I don't believe that for a moment. Two fifty. I've seen five? him stand next to a doorway. I mean, <laughs> but no, I can't post pictures of my family. I can't upload videos of my wife and children and people I care about because there are fucking monkeys out there Oh, who will grab a naked man who was being gang banged by a bunch of <laughs> monkeys and they were literally spewing all over me True. <clears throat> I will make the money and it's that simple just like if you were to go over and grab my brother's ass <laughs> I support people who are cyber bullies cyber <laughs> Uh, Asterios, will you please tell Dusty the cockatiel that he's a beautiful bird? Dusty the cockatiel, you are a beautiful bird, unlike this disgusting, disgusting man. Do you hear <laughs> the kind of things he Whoa. likes? Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah. Oh my Whoa. god. This guy's, this guy's gross. How can he Whoa. say this shit on video? Stalkers, trolls. I know. And I rule over them all. I rule over the stupid bastards. Yes, it's true. I put my phone number out there, and I allow people to call me. Yeah, yeah. You're a faggot. God I don't damn it. fucking care. What? I've not had one single individual ever call me up and say that they're a fan of Brett Keen. So if you are claiming to be an individual, and then you enjoy watching Brett Keen destroy or hurt people, then there must be something wrong with you, and I don't want you in my fucking ass. And I don't give a fuck about fag, nigger... <laughs> If you're too fucking stupid to know the difference between whores and cunts, then there's something wrong with you. Did you know that the particular atheist Sam Harris, he claims that there's over three million whores and cunts? Fuck that shit. It gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Let's say the drunken peasants decided to grab my brother's ass. <laughs> oh, oh shit. What, let's say we did. What would we do? Leave that butt alone. Uh, there are predators out there, and they need to be dealt with. This is why I support extreme child fucking... Do you really want the <laughs> This guy! How is he still on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> this live feed... It's very incriminating. No, you don't. Because that can be quite painful. I have recently and violently and aggressively whoop up on my wife and make fun of the way she looks and the way she sounds by wearing women's clothing. It's what I do. Been doing it for years. <laughs> the reason why I prefer calling her names and treating her like shit, the woman knows, hey, this is a guy that's not going to put up with any bullshit. He even has a soundboard. I love it. Uh, it, it, it I can make him say things about me. Uh, let's see, uh... Ben is along with the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate. Ben is absolutely retarded. <laughs> yeah? G-Man is absolutely retarded. Idiot that looks like Rey Mysterio. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do because I've already been told by the lawyer that I've got a great dance. I yeah, yeah, he was yeah, the, 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 the like lawyer thing was always like, yeah, I got a lawyer. I'm going to sue the shit out of you bastards for playing my Freddy. I was making fun of them. 
He's like, I'll tell you what, he's like Maddox, but way more pathetic than Maddox could ever be. Like, I, I mean, I don't know about the look. No, Maddox is pretty pathetic. No, and no. He's bald. Don't forget that. Uh, this guy doesn't have one tooth is in his entire head, and he lives but in he a. He looks like Santa Claus, and some girls are into that. Dude, yeah, this guy is love Santa. forty. Oh, they call themselves Santa. Babies. This guy is forty years old, and he looks like he's sixty. Santa's a thousand, but he can still deliver a pre <laughs> uh, big present. If he's, you know what I mean. He can still this, deliver a package. This man is forty years old. I'm thirty-seven. He is only three years older than me. Well, look, you both look terrible, so that's irrelevant. <laughs> oh, now, look, damn. What I'll say is this. <laughs> if you're into getting nailed by Santa Claus, this guy's your man. But nobody wants to get ma nailed by someone who looks like Maddox, like a weird, skinny, fat, real-life Ernie. This guy, li oh, this, guy, this guy lives in a double wide in the, in the backwoods of Missouri, and he found some lunatic and doxed us to a lunatic who showed up at one of our public events trying to like start some real crazy shit he doxed my home address to this guy too this guy was like posting crazy photos of firearms and all kinds of weird shit this guy is yeah, in well, manic sucks <laughs> dude <laughs> oh, shit, look what can't they both be assholes this guy also uh not he, he did this to not only me but any pretty much anyone he has an issue with he calls them a pedophile right like right. all yep. the time classic, classic classic yeah i have to be honest with you i go out and seek out young kids black kids i had to <laughs> mess around with underage girls teenagers and kids <laughs> of elementary <laughs> I don't know if many of you know this, although I refer to myself as homosexual. If you want to serve God, then you're going to have to enjoy butt sex with another man. <laughs> or you're going to die. It's or something. you're going to die. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. If you've had sex with a woman <laughs> such as my grandmother, and then after <laughs> harass, anally rape their family, Something inside of me always felt like I needed to be having sex with lesbians, transgenders, homosexuals, <laughs> but a particular homosexual. I don't give a particular shit about any of these little 15-year-olds eating cheap-ass macaroni, most likely, or cheese. <laughs> and the next thing I know is my wife takes my head, and she puts my head in my brother's ass. <laughs> this... Dude, I love this it's shit. The the Powerpuff monkey. Paul Zego smells like piss. He's not a rational <laughs> person. He's a nigger. Particularly <laughs> a nigger. <laughs> my anniversary's coming up Just with my terrible. wife. We In 2018. Have... Can't believe this gentleman would, would be so crude. So crude and rude. He's a disgusting manatee he's he's just my friend brett keen you guys are picking on my friend brett are Keen. are you serious he's my so friend. you're gonna stand behind a guy who says the n-word so freely nah <laughs> nah no no you just said he, uh, okay well i i just want to i want to replay but what nope. i want to do side no, by it's side. cool it's cool what? No, 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 it's no. cool, Ben. It, it, if he's your friend then he's your friend nope. right me and brett keen and maddox are gonna go hang out tomorrow <laughs> leave us alone wonderful children we got lawyers <sighs> actually maddox doesn't have a lawyer anymore from what i understand yeah. well hilariously maddox's original lawyer a guy named kevin landau went to court and begged the judge to let him no longer have to be maddox's lawyer really that's right when Damn. you hire maddox's lawyer He'll pretty much sue to get rid of you as a client. Damn. So Maddox's new lawyers are these guys from an outfit called thebusinesslawfirm.com. That's their real website. He's got these, like, walking cell phone burners of a lawyer who I think <laughs> did not know what they were getting into with Maddox. Yeah, when I first heard of Maddox, which was kind of funny because we had him on the show after I heard of this, but... 
People used to tell me Maddox is like the Brett Keen of the Dick Show. That's a, like like this guy was like our ma- like, but but we we never actually worked with him and had like knew him personally. He was just some retard on the internet that wouldn't stop making videos that made him look worse and worse and worse. Uh, and then like saying he's gonna sue us and doing all this other dumb shit. And then he disappeared for a while, but now he's back again trying to get more attention. So. Well, just looking at this guy, it seems like he's living a happy and wonderful life filled with no regrets. I'm sure his days aren't an endless waking nightmare of uh, of uh, possibilities now close to him and mistakes made in his youth. Stop so, attacking uh, his family! Yeah, you guys look out for this guy. This guy rules. Stop attacking my family. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> How much time we got left here? Like 15 minutes or so. I wanted to get to some of this. Uh, here's the Yo, shit, please! Let's go find the skater, put a bullet in this fucking head. Oh, you like me now? I'm the only critter with the good kind of fairy drama. That's because Jesus Christ is my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, check it out. This is Mr. Sheeran, aka Mr. Matt, high school science class. Some of the yeah, rap. science class teacher rap. Teacher rap. Billy the Fridge loathes teacher rap. At least he's not doing it in front of the kids. Like, yeah, did he email factor? this to them or something? I don't know, man. About elements. Here we go. Let's get this. learn about the periodic Yo, table, elements. y'all. Molecules, elements. Elements, molecules, relevant, elements, compounds, elements, let's get this list, yeah, let's get the elephant out the room, what you know about elements, you got some elegant words to learn if you found them irrelevant, Dimitri Mendeleev helped develop the concept, the fella was making hella sense, so let me go on next, elements let me go on be next. down it. I can kind of feel what he's trying to do, but it's not quite there yeah i know what he's trying to do he's, he's trying to forget that he chose to be a teacher instead of a fucking <laughs> rapper but he made the right choice up until now be simpler they're made up of atoms greek word indivisible but don't take the term literal individual ones got little subatomic particles protons, Limical, miracle, neutrons, electrons, subatomic particles so from the particles when i farted if you don't care, in a cubicle everything's made of them including the air a pool or a chair the food and a pair and then fools over there so let me break it down when I drop the bomb. Uranium nuclear flares. It starts with alkaline. Uranium nuclear flares. Followed by earth metals. That's alkaline. There's nine metals found in formaldehyde, lanthanides, and unstable actinides. Become a mastermind at the periodic table to pass the time. Okay, so as far as teacher rap goes, he doesn't have the balls to do it in front of his kids, which yeah. is kind of like a shot in the fucking mouth. But the fact that he didn't do it in front of his kids is respectable. Um, the, the the rhymes are all like you know whatever they're wordy nerd fucking dickhead rhymes, yeah. but they're not as bad. Um, uh, he's wearing sunglasses inside because he probably has weak dead eyes, which is the same reason he couldn't say this in front of the fucking kids because he's got no courage. Uh, as far as cringe goes, I- I'm gonna give this like a it's, it's it's a four out of ten. It's not the worst in the world. All right, it's it's not it's not it's not good, but it's it's. It's like whatever, dude. We get it. You thought you thought you could have done something with your life, and instead you're a fucking teacher and can't even rap in front of your own kids, pussy. Here's the next one. Oh my god! Uh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna call what? it right now. Why? Why? Why do you say that? Because he's Why fatting around. Of, of, no, that has nothing to do with it, Ben. He's, he doesn't have a shirt on. That means he's confident. And he's fatting around. He's confident because he's not wearing a t-shirt. He doesn't have sunglasses. He has is prescription he glasses. He's fattening around. He is fattening around. Yeah. That has nothing to do with whether or not. Oh, you lying good. sack of shit. No, I think it's just going to be good. I'll tell you what. Billy has a, a fat bias. Anyone who's fat, he's just like, he, he just has a bias towards them. That might be it true. It makes me want to get fatter and fatter. So I'll like you more? Yeah. <laughs> You like this, right? 
You liked it, Billy. Billy, you like this, right? I, I'm, I'm, I, I you like this, right? I, 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 I predicted that I would. Do you put your seal of approval, the Billy of the Fridge, hip hop? I don't know seal yet. Of, do, no, 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 no. Tell me. Tell but me tell imagine me. all the people. This is Fat John Lennon. This is very. Many people are trying to own others. If it, if it means trying to own someone else's brother. With all of these issues, make me wonder what you have for a mother. You got so many tattoos, you will have tons of daddy issues. Your mom must be so disappointed that you dare to challenge Eminem. When in reality, you couldn't even face him. You so, got someone I said was, obese John. <laughs> yeah. So I was wrong. Um, this is. Oh no, he's good. No, he's this good. is terrible. Oh. This is terrible. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. The benefit. Ah. Ah. <laughs> he's fucking horrible. He's an embarrassment to all fat people. Put a shirt wow. on. Wow. You know what? You know what? He I, should. He should step on the scale at the heart attack. Grill. I'm saying he should have more in common with John Lennon. Oh damn. For days, who were you trying to amaze? Rap down rap level. His lips are so chapped. to the dance, but we won't give you another chance. He's making my lips feel chapped. Next time you come ly lyrically prepared. Prepared. Your mother wanted to abort you, but then she realized someone had to educate you, fool. <laughs> Singing this is cool, you're just a puppet for the lame millennial crooks. Head to college and start hitting oh, dude. the bus. Billy. Everyone says your career is dead. You're so sick in the head. Can you continue smoking your meth? Now you're going to face death. I could rap better than you and not on the same level. He can rap better than you. No, he can't. Yes, he can. No, can't. All right, then you got to cut a track on him. All right. You got to do me, it. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can rap better than you, whatever you do, I never knew You got those chap licks, boy, I got them chap sticks And I put them on my lips when I have fix Cause the tip of my lips stay drip wet, yeah Best bet, you're a big fat pig I'm a big fat kid and I'll kick that dick in Karate chop, I probably got a Costa on the block I drop a fucking dollar on the ground You gon' walk it off You pick the buck, I pass the buck You fucking suck, I got mad bucks, bitch You mad cucks, bitch Fuck, bitch, I'm a manatee Humanity be asking me If everybody try and slap at me These big titties, smack <laughs> titties, titties Smackin' Big Bill Fridge I'm attacking the feet Got that meat when I eat Smell my feet Smellin' what? Smell defeat Yes, bitch, get beach whale Was Eminem I challenge you to this Now where's my diss? Oh wait, sorry miss Eminem's that camera's off now. Sorry, I'm coming. Damn. What can I even so say? That happened. Yeah. <laughs> Only interesting because you're fat, Billy. That's why I subscribe to the Fat and Around Principle. <laughs> you gotta support fat people. It's all they have. It's all they have. So, I think we're going to wrap up the show. We're going to go into the post show. I'm, I'm very, giving myself a mammogram. Yeah, I'm very uncomfortable right now mm. being in the same room. Feels good, man. So, uh, yeah, before we go, do either of you guys, do you have anything you want to <laughs> plug or mention? Um, well, I guess the only thing I want to say is you sure showed him who's not cool. <laughs> really showed him what for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> um, uh, I, you know, look, if you want to help out Monkey Jones and uh, me, you can subscribe to mine and Monkey's podcast. It's called Boomer versus Zoomer, uh, where we explore like. Uh, things like across our particular generation gap uh you can uh find it at astereospodcasts.com and uh or search the itunes store the google play store spotify for boomer versus zoomer 
Um, you know, other than that, thanks for having me on. This was a lot of fun, as usual. Yeah, Thank you. We love having you here, Stereos. Godless Engineer, how about you? Yeah, so uh, you guys can find me here on YouTube at Godless Engineer. Uh, tomorrow is Flat Earth Friday for me, so we got a, an upload in the morning and a live stream at night. So uh, there's that that's going on. So just come on over and, and laugh at the flurfers. Great having you tonight, Engineer. Thank you. Oh, yeah. No, it's been totally fun tonight hanging out. Uh, except for this last part where where Billy got half naked. And, I th- and oh, that happened. I thought you were going to say, except for this last part where I didn't get naked and slap my titties. <laughs> Not me, you. Get naked. Yeah, is it your turn? Get naked. Get naked. Get naked. Oh, no. I don't think it's happening. Okay. I don't think it's happening. Okay, you're, you're an engineer. You don't have to do stupid shit like this. I, All I, right. I, I never got a degree. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet, gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready, cause they're gonna kick your drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants. Drunken peasants.